Internet. Today is Thursday. We are playing a little bit of Tekken 7. This is Violent Systems. Uh, let's get everybody in here. We are running first of fives uh, for the Kinder Gym Tekken community. Uh, Y'all are gonna have to let me know how the audio sounds. Let me tell the community that we are running. Uh, wow! We got Pog Boyfriend with the first post. Uh, so please, uh, pack it up, pack it in, everybody. We are ready to get rolling here, huh? How's the audio sound? Hello! So we got, uh, I believe our first two competitors up today. Uh, we're gonna have, uh, Ducky facing off, uh, this is a rematch, I believe. Uh, against Vorbane. Let me make sure the scoreboard is set up appropriately. Uh, two heavy hitters out of the... We got the scoreboard... Yeah. Audio sounds alright? Beautiful. Hello, hello. Yeah, we got the Pikachus, we got the dogs in the chat. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's get this rolling. Y'all ready? Tell your friends. Uh, no, we got a create session. Uh, session name V Systems. Happy Violent Systems on this beautiful Thursday. Hope you're having. <laughs> Vorvain is ready for revenge. Pog is ready to commentate. Oh, Pog, let me get you in the commentary channel. Uh, yep. Hello, Pog, Hello. my friend. Hi, I'm here. You are okay. here. You are here and we are ready to stream this. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Fantastic, we're professionals. We are gonna get uh, Vorbeam invited we are gonna get how you doing how's, how's everything going i am still a little sick i'm sorry to hear but that. i could say that every week i you know your watch is sick i've heard that's true it looks like vorbane has switched over to become an elisa main which is a bit of a shocking twist yeah no he's a tier enthusiast um elisa is although law is top three That's true. Out of all the Shaheen clones, he's definitely in the top three. He is one of the strongest three Shaheen clones. That is true. All right, score is zero to zero. We got um, Vorbane going up against Ducky. Oh my gosh. We're getting reports that Bellet is eating carrot sticks. Hello, Jasmine. Oh, I love carrot sticks. Um, one That's thing that I did the was I took... Uh, uh, Ducky just rage quit at what? my pronunciation. Ducky is upset at the implication that that Caros are French. Uh, let's invite him one more time, huh? No, I I had tomatoes. Oh, interesting. Okay, Ducky rage quit. Uh, victory goes to Vorbane. Right. Congratulations to Vorbane. Next match. What do we got next on the docket? Okay. Oh, it looks up. We've got Ducky versus Vorbane. <coughs> oh, next up, Ducky versus Vorbane. All right. Oh. That's the yeah, way it the, looks like Ducky is animals. looking for revenge after his harrowing loss uh, 30 seconds ago. Looking to get back at it and prove himself right. Okay, so we're we're getting feedback. Maybe I should lower Pog's volume a little bit. Or Pog, maybe you could lower your own volume. You could try yelling. I could yell also. I've been accused of having a, uh, a bit of a quiet voice as human beings go. Pat, am I too loud? Or is Alex too quiet? You'll give us feedback. What do we think? I can't hear my own mix, unfortunately.
The pog is good? Okay. Uh, maybe I can make me louder? Let's see if I can do that. In OBS, you can change the gain on mic sources, so you can boost it by like 1 dB. Probably. Look at me, it's like I know what I'm doing. You do know what you're doing, although I, it's turned all the way up. My microphone is. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, I'm not, we're professional casters up in here. That's all right. Um, you are now given the epithet Alex the Quiet. Okay, oh, maybe I can, maybe I can make myself a little bit louder. How's that? Is that working? I don't know. Honestly, you sound the same to me, but I don't know. Okay, anyway, we're in there. Today's word of the day is epithet, by the way. Heck yeah. Round one. All right, so we got uh, Ducky on the left. Wow, starting out strong with a down floor two. Just catches him out of uh, whatever it was Morbin was doing. I imagine it was like some sort of a movement. Yes. But who knows? Yeah, he's big into that. Both of these uh, characters known for doing martial arts moves. Wow, uh, that was the one grab. Let's see what the adjustment is. Okay, round start down two. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, nice whiff punish. So Vorbin's been thinking about where how he's going to put the... Um, Ducky's going for it. He did duck the down for 3-3-3. Three, three, three. At he's that point... Ready for the player matchup. Yee. Nice pressure. The down 3-4 enthusiast has logged on. It's me, and I told Ducky to do it every day for like a month, Ooh. and he's finally doing it. R.I.P. You'd love to see it. So if we're being there, just put the uh, down two, three. Uh, completely unbeatable law strategy. Running two, what's he gonna do? Oh, gets counter hit. Nice combo. Okay, pretty good. Guaranteed stuff there. Cute. You win. First game to Ducky. That was violent. It is. Um, this... It's a common thing that will happen a lot. Um, <clears throat> if you are not certain how your opponent is going to be fighting and such, just backdash at round start. It's probably safer. Yeah, it's a good strategy. Than whatever you're going to do. It's very unlikely that whatever you're doing is safer than backdashing. And if you watch top level players, they mostly do that for very good reason. Yeah, it's uh. No one thinks about wall pressure in Forbidden Temple. Well, you, you know Spoon. Says the king player. You know who thought about wall pressure at the Forbidden Temple? Ducky. Man. Spoon, how are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Hope everybody's having a lovely day. Shout out to, we got a zillion viewers. Pog, this is like. A zillion viewers, that's right. Pretty large number of viewers, really. As many viewers as there are golden letters, as it turns out. You know, we're going to have to get some mathematicians on this case. I am, uh... Not super sure about this claim. I am a mathematician, actually. Wow! Okay, so he did, he's done a character switch here. He's pulled out the, uh, Albert Wesker. Fight. Yeah. Whoa, Dragon Oh my Tail. goodness. You'd love to see it. He's okay, not... going for it. I think that could have punished, but I think the more obvious thing to do would be the wall standing two. Yeah, it, it cannot punish. It has to be a wall standing two. Does he have um, enough time? To, there's uh, just enough space. There's not enough time, okay. Yeah. Believe Hardly... me, I've practiced that exact scenario. <laughs> Round two. Oh okay, my goodness. Bar fight is landing. Yeah. Nice step there. Oh yeah, you'd love to see it. The back turn mix, R.I.P. into the real combo. Oh, he does it again. Ducky's not ready for that. He doesn't understand the uh, law of back turn scenario. <gasps> oh my goodness, the reset. So we have a Ducky uh, Ducky fan in the chat. Shout us to Spicy Vending Machine, first time chatter. Okay, nice float. Wow, okay. I think um, we kind of got a guaranteed Stomperoonie there. Um, 
for being on the board. Just so you know, Snake Catch is not <gasps> the punish to that move. R.I.P. He's putting those down two threes. Bar fight. Okay. So that is a one plus two break throw. And it's a little bit slower than all of uh, Dragonov's other throw. That was a two break. Hmm. Yeah, there's a two break. Get to see all of them. Well, not all of them. Dragonov has like a thousand. He has so many throws. Thought about it. Oh, oh! Okay. You know that. Yes! So the Dragon Tail here is uh, high crushing. Yeah, it moves. is. I think that is like the legitimate use of Dragon Tail. Oh, yeah. If and like... other snake edges in general. It's like a super hard call out. Ooh. Hey, down forward three 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 is natural on counter hit. One HP. <gasps> oh, he oh. almost got out of there with a with a fake dragon stab. You win. Uh, dragon fake stuff is so cool. It's it's a whole thing. All right, game two to Ducky. Although that was looking a lot closer. All right, so some adjustments for Vorpain. Um, I would like to see more one, two, three, more down forward one to be used. Those are those are solid <laughs> suggestions. The big moves are great, and honestly, <laughs> like I could not have placed Snake Edges any better than he did. Um, Vorpain once again has like a sixth sense for how to make weird moves land on people. But opening up with faster moves is a good way to avoid getting retaliated on and counter hit. Yeah. Down forward one especially is good against Dragonov, who is likely going to be doing a lot of down twos in neutral. Also, if you're getting thrown, chances are it's a one plus two break against Dragonov, um, unless it's a particular setup or a one break or a two break um, out of his victor clutches. <gasps> uh, Dragonov does have some setup throws that can be a little bit tricky to deal with, but for the most part, his command throws are one plus two. He's got a complete third game. Like at any point when he does the one. Anyway, yes, that's a good. So so one other thing that I would like to point out for uh, Vorbin here, he's getting frame trapped a couple of times. I've noticed he's swung he is. after the running two. And that caused him to get counter hit with a down forward uh, one four at the wall, which will not be a problem here. Fight. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So they match, kind of. He slipped the uh, down forward one four there. Ooh, Good duck. Beautiful walk there. All right. <gasps> Vorbane's answering with his own throw. <laughs> Run up, stop. Oh, that, that. Uh, okay, that'll combo. Um, you know what? I like aerial juggles like that. They look really cool. I think do it again. Oh, I, I, uh, I would have died too. <laughs> commentator, why? Uh. He trusted you. Yeah, he shouldn't have. Oh my goodness, that is not a punish, but... What the use of Dragon Hammer, though? That's one of Law's best moves. It is. It's a very good move. Oh, if he had done that just a little bit later, that would have worked. The the second hit of the low would have uh, broken the power crush. Ducky, you're playing really solid, just kind of doing... That's like Dragon Ball on a nutshell on an infinite stage. Is he's going to run up and try to hit you with a running two until you start side walking it. The running twos will continue until side walking improves. Ooh, that was a frame trap. Nice three plus four four. Doesn't get the full combo, but... Oh, That's he's... under the car circle four. Oh. Let's go, Vorbe! <gasps> the mix! Oh my god, he baited the low parry! Round four. Fight. Incredible. Oh, gets the big sidestep string. What is that? Like sidestep one plus two? I'm not sure. Okay. Back one, two to the. Whoa, what the hell? That's the new move. Hey, okay. down four, three, three, three. Wow, the low parry. Nice low parry. He's not ready for it. Though. I can't grab the. <gasps> he better. Oh no, he could kill him. He might still. Uh, he did somehow. He's dead. 
Wow. My goodness. Final round. Fight. I love the defense there. Um. Oh. Whoa. Stands up into it. Yeah. Oh man, no. Ducky trying for the disrespect. He wants it. Ducky's like, I'm gonna do every throw Dragonov has. The launching throw connects. Yeah, there's the... Speaking of every throw... You win. Incredible. Alright. If you, like, rarely use throws, everybody, welcome to the exhibition match. <laughs> Fantastic. I think the silliest one that Dragonov has is, like, if you do the full sidestep two string, you can do, like, sidestep two, cancel it into a tackle, then cancel the tackle into a side roll, and then, like, do something to hit them as they whiff. That's incredible. It's weirdly evasive, and if your opponent just does nothing, they beat you. But... This is important information. Man, it's Ducky, good to know. Ducky is playing violent today, though. Hmm. Running two is an exceptional move, and until your opponents are effectively stepping it, really, there's no reason not to do it. Yeah, you should keep doing it at all times. As a player, after running two, Dragonov is plus six, down four and one is 13 frames. You do not have a way to win this, unless you have a parry. Power crush, you know, that kind of thing. Rage art. Yeah. Well, I, I don't even know if I'd want to power crush there. If I had a hard read, I guess. Yeah. Fight. But here we are in game four. Nice backswing. Oh, speaking of backswing. Uh, is that going to hit the wall? Yeah, it is. It will. Oh. Come back, 2-1-2. Two, two. You know, we... Man, we worked on that specific uh, situation there. We did? Uh, I have watched Warbane training. Yeah, that keeps working. Wow, puts it down for it too. Off axis though. Okay, it's a whip punch there. He was thinking about it. Ooh. Oh, he went for the back turn mix. Well. Okay. No punish. Oh, he could have done the thing. I hope he does the thing. He, oh, he did the thing that I was thinking of a bit late. But then, what happened? Uh, he got crunched. Okay, so that's four Rest for Rest in Ducky. peace. Yeah. Great. We need for Robin to not press after blocking the running two. Mm hmm. But he says, first, lots of games are data, and that's true. This is Listen, important. Lunch has pulled this exact comeback back. For sure. Chat. Chat. I don't, I don't want to call it now, but are we ready for the sweep? That's right, because just now, with his back to the wall, Vorbane, you have my permission. All right. Welcome lunch. Hashtag Vorbane sweep, Law Nation. We're a nation of laws. With the Game of Death outfit, uh, at least in the character portrait, see if he pulls it out. Uh... Looks like they wanted to run back on the random stage. Heck yeah. Okay, we got the frog outfit. 
Oh, he's got the gun. Yeah. Now you have to watch out because Vorbe now has access to ranged projectiles. It's not normally allowed in MMA fights. But uh, this time we'll allow it. No. Oh, yeah. Running too? <gasps> oh my god, he thought of. <laughs> Jeeves. Guns are allowed, yeah. New, uh. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. Whiff punish! Get whiff punish! Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Brutal. Oh no. Okay. Alright, comeback starts here. R, I, P. Beautiful. Good combo. Banana One more kill. combo kill. Did he press? Did he press? Oh, he did he press. He did? He's a god. That was psychic. Vorbane has finished his download. It's over. I think Ducky should probably just hold forward now. I've done that a few times. I've been known to hold forward. Alright, Ducky has found a way to frame trap himself, uh, but Vorbane is pressing into it. Quarter circle forward three is not recommended to press after, especially with the instant while nice standing break. one plus two. Nice break, Orbane. <coughs> Apologies. I am also. Uh... Oh man, we got a grappling enthusiast. Look at that! Oh, he gets clipped by the uh... nice combo. Plus frames. Yeah. Breaks the bar fight. Oh my god, dragon hammer. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, nice punish. Shoutouts to Spoon, our uh, grappling enthusiast. Oh, he's not ready! <gasps> Get him! What's that one called? Like Bulldog? I have no idea. All oh, I know is I'm seeing hit. some good stuff on the screen. That's gonna hit. All right, Vorbane, you still got this. Yeah, this, that's gonna do it. Oh no, that that is gonna do it. All right. Oh, he, it was just a setup for the back turn mix. There we go. Vorbane's on the board. Vorbane now on the All right, left hand Vorbane. side. Swap teams. All right, Vorbane. So, uh, just some Dragonov matchup notes because I am familiar with Dragonov pretty well. After quarter circle forward three hits. Dragonov is minus six. So Ducky is doing quarter circle forward three into while standing one plus two. Mm. While standing one plus two is a fast move, but not fast enough that you can't just down forward one it on minus six. basically on reaction. Yeah, a lot of like advancing blows like that are not necessarily plus. Now, if you block after the quarter circle forward three and he does it, then you get like a guaranteed 12 frame punish or even higher depending on your character. I think Law is like a good 13 or 14 frame. Yes. He has three plus four, four for 14, right? He does, yeah. Um... Yeah, there you go. So it's one of these situations where if you don't know what's happening, you can get tricked by it, um, but it is a quite fake setup. So if you run into online players, a lot of times you're going to see like Dragonov players will do some sort of setup into while setting one plus two. The only one of those that I know that's actually real is um, four four, but you can just block. <laughs> to call that real is uh, that's a. I mean, real is in like they cannot just counter hit yeah. you out of it. It's a frame trap. Yeah. It's real, asterisk. Okay, nice power Ooh. crush. Stop Oof. at the wall. Ooh, stop at the wall. Oof. Oh man, goes for the low. Nice use of the down three there. I approve. Ooh, the down two three! <laughs> Counter hits him, he, he tried round start, uh... Round start down forward two. Flips out of there. Woo. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Escaping the lava. <gasps> the Woo. jump backwards. Okay, it is set point for Ducky here. 
Oh my goodness, that is uncalled for. Completely uncalled for. Okay, JDCR. All right, Vorpin, get his ass. Oh. Hi. Ooh. Hey, counter hit. Oh, he could've got... I mean, theoretically, that was dead. Woo! Oh, uh, you're dead. Uh, Dragon, you're dead. I'm not gonna tank that. Oh, shit! I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, it I missed. I can't believe that missed! Alright, well... GG's, congratulations to Ducky. <laughs> wow. Ref, uh... Let's take a look at the replay of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was sure the, uh... The, the 4 2 plus 4 was gonna hit him. Dang. It was literally, like, one pixel too short. Like, it was so close. Yeah. Super, super close. Anyway, GG's to both competitors. Um, how's everybody feeling out there after that first... Uh, that was, like, Harada spacing care. So, nice work to Ducky and Forbane. Who do we got up next? We got... Uh, hang on just a moment. In the meantime, I'm Vorbane, I'll give you expert. some really basic advice. When you block a low, you should always at least do while standing four. And a lot of those moves, if you don't know the punishes for them, just go for your basic one one two. Oh, Why I'm not? It's good. I believe next up we've got Comrade Solar and Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, I don't think I have you as a uh, Steam friend yet. Can you drop your Steam friend code in the uh, Discord? Please, Dr. Phil. Uh, Dr. Phil did post it in the oh, matchmate. I think. All right. Oh no, Nine Tide posted his, I see. Okay. Thank you, but yes, Vorbane, uh, there are a few, like, more ideal punishes. So I did show, or rather, Alex did show you, like, you could do 3 plus 4, 4 on a lot of those moves. But if you don't feel comfortable going for, like, the automated, um, or rather, the correct punish, just doing your 10 frame punish is fine. Like, getting anything is better than nothing. Right, so we've invited uh, Dr. Phil. Let's get the scoreboard reset. Uh, Dr. Phil, are you? What are your pronouns? Are you he him? I thought that was the case. I feel like you are. That is the case. Comrade Solar, reset score. Uh, Solar will be on the left. This is going to be an interesting one. Disregard the Lee Biako rank. This is a king player. Also, disregard the Lydia Murata rank. This is a Zafina player. Yep. Both of these players are using misdirection and deception. But audience members, do not be deceived. You know, I've been informed uh, that deception is the, uh, the basis of all warfare. I heard that somewhere. Is that true? Yes. What about deception? It's the basis of all warfare. Oh, I can, I see. Get ready for the next all right. See, Wait. I made you think I didn't know what you were saying, but actually, I knew the whole time. So that was an example of deception, chat. So keep Goodness. in mind your your opponents will be trying to do this on you in the bracket. And your co-commentators. Your co-commentators will be, like, doing manipulative tactics, you know, playing mind games. If you've ever seen Death Note, you'll be quite familiar. Goodness. I heard that's an anime. One of those... I believe deception is being ran on me, but I won't be deceived. Japanese... All right, we've got cartoons. Victor versus... Oh! King. Look at that dapper King. Yeah, wow. King is dressed up for his interview with Victor. He wants to join the Ravens, perhaps. Up, up. Oh. 
Imagine uh, King wearing like a raven mask over the jaguar mask. <laughs> You'll never know his true identity. Oh, swinging. Nice defense and throw breaks from Solar. Yeah, Solar's looking really strong so far. Hey. Nice. So this is a very important thing, uh, which is that throws have pretty short range. You can just backdash out of there. Can't get mixed if the moves miss. Oh, that one hit. Finds the counter hit. Oh, oh. What's he gonna do with the wall? Oh, Zephina doesn't quite get out of there. He had the right idea, but didn't did follow through all the way, and chat. just got clipped a little bit. Did you see nice how long steps. that delay was on the down forward it one was. too? He held that so long. String delays are Watch so out. powerful. I love when players do stuff like that. Okay. Ooh, got the... Big Irish whip. Okay, giant swing is... hitting the wall. Rest in peace. <clears throat> it should be noted that we discovered in Kinder Gym that any button can be used to quick roll tech. Um, which is very important against Giant Swing. However, if the oh. damage kills you, you cannot tech it. That's gonna hurt. Does not tech roll. <gasps> no. Brutal. Dr. Phil takes the first game and will now be on the left-hand side. Congratulations to Dr. Phil, who defeated an Emperor Lee player and is therefore technically an Emperor. I've often thought so. Did he? So he, he was able to... Uh... Yeah, you're as strong as the highest ranked player that you've defeated. Goodness. Who's the highest ranked player you've defeated, Alex? Me personally? Uh... Definitely beaten TGPs. I might have beaten a TGO once or twice. I don't know. Well, I know that I have beaten TGPs. So you've beaten me, therefore, which means therefore you're a TGP. That's right. Oh, Dr. Phil beat Joey Fury. Once. Um, so therefore, anyone <laughs> who's beaten Dr. Phil as, has beaten Joey Fury. <laughs> I, I have one game lifetime against Jimmy J. One. <laughs> All right, Solar. If you win any of these games, you've beaten Joey Fury. This is basically true. Your fate is already decided. Round one. Fight. All right. Ooh. We're getting rude here. We're shoving people, punching them. It's a doggy dog world out there. Rough, rough. Ooh. Oh my god. Nice. <gasps> oh my goodness! That... I didn't even know that beat that. That looks like an almost hey. guaranteed setup, but it apparently wasn't. Oh, this. Could he kill here? Maybe. Uh, if you get a rage art, I think this kills. Oh no! A uh, weird angle, but okay. <coughs> It was actually just a reset setup. Fight. He planned that a week ago. Yeah, Solar's been labbing. Too. That is such a good move. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Tack! Tack! Oh, I hit the wall. Ouch. Second hit. Nice combo. Very nice. Zavina is a very spitty character. Uh, that's not dead. KO. I think that was avoidable. That was a hard, to, hard blockable fight. It's avoidable, but it's a scary mix. Down three into that. Oh my gosh, Zafina stands pressure. Okay, shining wizard goes for the crouching throw or the ground throw. What the heck? Woo! 
Oh my goodness. Did he, he did an unnecessary, that's the JDCR. The like, one more wavu than you need to do. He did the crouch dash into the Shining Wizard. That's bold. Nice. Oh no. It's cool. Okay. Takes the Okazemi off the first hit. Very stylish king right here. Nice break on the Shining Wizard and down forward too. Oh, he went for the just frame. Didn't quite get it. Nice, too. Yeah, guaranteed follow up there. Crasher. Oh, he knows. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Phil is not falling for this one. He seems pretty aware of the Zafina matchup. Dr. Phil seems like a very defensive minded player and also a lab monster, which is a dangerous combo. For sure. Nice break. I feel like he was just pressing like two. No, he broke that on reaction. He sees the hands. Oh my goodness. Goes for the stature kick. I forget who I was playing, but like months ago, I broke four throws in a row while pressing two and one. And they were like, nice <laughs> throw breaks. I, I lied and pretended that I was seeing the hands. It's like completely random. So to whoever it was, I'm terribly sorry. I didn't break any of them. <laughs> well, you did. The, oh God, that's gonna kill. Oh my goodness. Whiff punish. Nice whiff punish. <clears throat> that was really close, but Dr. Phil takes game two. I didn't even think the, the <gasps> whiff recovery was that bad. Rest yeah, in peace. No, that was... Tekken as a game has pretty big whiff recovery. Mm. It depends on the move. Some moves are pretty whiff recoverable. Mm. Wavu Shining Wizard, yeah, nice work, Dr. Phil. Everybody loves your Wavu Shining Wizard. Someone Everyone noticed, noticed this. We, I, he might not Alex be pointed to it out. Come on. <laughs> the violent system commentators don't let anything slip. We're professionals. Absolutely. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Tisk, tisk, doubting us. <laughs> the um, monarchs have strange wave dashes compared to everyone else. So, Armor King has a Mishima Wave Dash, basically exactly like Mishima Wave Dash. King has a single Crouch Dash that you can do. Your fate is already decided. Uh, but if you want to chain it into Wavus, it's a very difficult input. Wow, run up to you, Ana. Crunch. What's the Oki? Oh, he could have pulled the trigger there. Yeah, you just have to believe they'll press into your strings and press the whole thing every time. Personally speaking. Okay. Gets the 1 plus 2 4. That move is so good. Doesn't bite. Oh, he could have done it again. We're doing some stance pressure here. Hey, okay, Rage Art hit. I don't think this will kill. A combo existed that would have killed. Ooh! Nice work, Solar! That was beautiful. Solar says, I'm not dead yet. He's not, it's not even close to dead. Nice breaks. Yeah, so there is a there is a King Wave of input. It's very difficult. Uh, it, you have to skip neutral. It's a, it's a neutral skip input. Nice. Good con was he confirming or did he just believe? Oh, oh. Uh, Rager, this thing? I, I think, think this that kill. this will kill. I think this will kill. He doesn't. Okay. Let's see who, who wins. This battle of wills. Who Find believes out. in Zafina more? I believe in Zafina a lot, but... Oh my gosh! Nice whiff punish. Beautiful. It was actually a setup the whole time. It was an extremely delayed setup. Yeah, to find the squid punch. Ooh. 
Okay, Solar is finding his way around the stages a little bit better here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he really is. This is uh, still quite winnable for... Nice! Oh my gosh, that was a good setup. Oh, okay, giant swing. No attack. <gasps> no ultimate tackle and a that, kill. That was a real mix. I would have got killed by that too. I was just I was imagining the armbar was coming. For sure. Uh, uh, nice mix. No, almost finds the. Uh... Nice. This is super winnable for uh, Solar. It's actually a pretty big hill to climb for uh, for Phil. Nice combo. Yeah, but the doctor is in. Boom. That was very stylish. Oh my god. Sorry for the commentator's curse. No, Solar's got this. No, I actually commentated curse by saying the doctor is in, and then he immediately just comboed Solar to death over and over. I'm sorry, Solar. Uh. Ooh, giant swing. Um. Okay, good tech. Yeah. Good tech. Tech that time. All right, time to show them solar power. Is that anything? That that is. Ooh, nice delay. He canceled the stance and then went for a low afterwards. Okay. And she's lap. Nice too. No. Falls out. That um, the down three counter hit there. Nice break. Really good break. Wow. The alley kicks. Another hard to block. Alas. Is that three? That's three. Dr. Phil looking That's strong. three, but those last two games were <clears throat> to the wire. Really quite close. Run up giant swing. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's doing wave of shining wizard run up giant swing. You love to see it. Yeah, we've had like a bit of a lack of um, king players in Kinder Gym recently. I mean, you know, it's it's a joy when we get uh, Spoon. We haven't seen um, Merc for a minute. So it's good that we've Merc's got Dr. Like, Phil joining recently. I think Merc's training under a waterfall. I hope so. Interested to see what uh, kind of grappling techniques he comes up with in the next game. I think King is going to be a menace in the next game. Like, I genuinely think King is going to be, like, top tier. Yeah, well, he's got a lot of new interesting stuff. He can point, critically. Oh, he switched to Bibson. Alright, we got the Bibson. Wow. I just think, like, in Tekken 8... Because you can like punish power crushes with unbreakable throws, King is going to be like, King is going to be cooking. Oof. And also, there's a lot less random counter hit launchers, which will help him a little bit. Fight. It'll help him breathe. Mm, yeah. Not having to worry about Magic Four will save your life. Magic Four pressure can be suffocating. Ooh. Speaking of suffocating pressure, though. Yeah, he found the. Uh, speaking of counter hit launchers, he found the uh, what is that? <laughs> down. Whatever it is. Down back 4 3 for uh, Zafina. Okay, Wish says Armor King should go into Tekken 8. I if you agree, agree, type I love Armor King. I am typing I love Armor King right now. Shout out to everybody who loves Armor King. Oh. That's right. Crunch. Oh my god. Oh, that was a guaranteed ground throw attempt. Or er, down throw. Phil looking right. really powerful. Phil is like, I'm just not going to let you run around. No running around. Phil now on the left. So we'll see if Solar has a... Uh... It's now a four... Uh, it's a... Oh. 
But we're gonna find out if Solar has another gear. He the game three was looking really, really strong for him. I think Phil made an adjustment to those two games and just realizing that trying to play into Zafina's space game is difficult. But if Zafina's constantly blocking, then she's not she's not hitting me. Yeah, she's not zoning. It's the uh, kind of a really classic uh, zoner versus grappler fighting game archetypal thing here. Safina's got the big lanky buttons. Our million gates, though. That's a good stage. It's a good stage to make your final stand. Or perhaps final stand part one of five. Yeah. So we'll note this was, um, uh, Dr. Phil was challenged by Solar here. Wow, look at this outfit. He's pulling right. out the, the most uh, stylish of outfits. <gasps> oh, oh, what a big! Nice. That was so good. He fakes like he was going to do the um, the low, mid mid low and then didn't. Yeah. I'd love to see it. Any Scarecrow fans here? I love Scarecrow. I mean, I like Zafina. Ooh, I think there was a guaranteed stomp there. Hey, Shining Wizard. Wow. Whoa, right nice stuff. There. <gasps> Goes for <laughs> Snake Edge out of Scarecrow. Love to see it. Wow, good counter you confirm. At this point, I would love to see Phil versus... Uh... Oh, same setup. Does that it again? Exactly the same. That worked twice. Solar has conditioned this man to expect the low. Yeah. I want to see Spoon versus Dr. Phil. Perhaps we'll see that at some point. Okay. Yeah. Nice throw. Player. Woo. Solar. Solar's not, not done. Fight. Look at that big old tree with the nice, um... Woo. Oh my Another goodness. Mix. What's the timing mix? That tree has like nice decorations on it. I assume for oh, like... I love trees. Yeah, I love trees with decorations and without. Ooh, big whiff. Gets a grab. Okay, good angle Solar has. Solar's like maintaining a solid position towards the wall in this corner here, but... One combo takes him out of it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he tried to end nice. it with the... <laughs> Giant unblockable... Uh, what do you call that? Uh, burning knuckle. <gasps> oh. Nice! This is gonna kill? Solar. You win. Fantastic. Solar's on the board. It's four to one. Solar's reminding the entire audience that he was the one who did the challenging here. Yeah. This is... Uh his sequence to win here. It's got a bit of an uphill battle, but we've seen bigger comebacks than this. How's everybody doing? Are we having fun? Man. Jasmine uh, calling out Eddie as the uh, the Eddie enthusiast in the community. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. London, I can't believe you would focus on this Grand Blue tournament uh, and not this legendary series of events. <coughs> Look, they even put a custom logo for Violent Systems in this splash screen. I can't you can see the did. Violent Systems logo that is really right nice. above Abandoned Temple. They it. put that in just for us. They said, we love Minter Galactic and Team k and r and that other girl. That's not a 50-50 London. Tekken is three dimensions, so it needs three monitors. Wow. 
Huge if true. Look at this, he's got the Awuga wolf face. Whoa. Solar looking for the uh, down forward 3 4. Personally, I love the FNAF King. What's a FNAF? Uh... Oh, it's based off the hit series of one movie, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I see. It's a movie ball movie, or? Ooh, looking for the ground throw. No punch no, the, it's... uh... Okay. Oh. Stutter step into a chain grab. Brutal. Uh, what's he going for? This looks like, yeah, somebody's about to get giant swung. That's gonna kill. Goodbye. Okay, set point now for Dr. Phil. Oh man, Bougie asks, uh, we're the Christy enthusiast. Yeah, I, I like Christy. I'm a Christy fan. Any Miharu fans here? I love Miharu. Miharu is great. Big giant swing. That was a really smart power crush. Confirm it really was. Oh, did you see that? He stuffed the. Um, I'm sure you did see that. He stuffed yeah, the. Yeah, just. Crush, or the, uh, oh my goodness. No. Does it. Ali kicks. Look at this. Animal man. Alright. Five to one. Uh, Dr. Phil takes it playing really, really strong. Uh. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Solar, that's just the thing you gotta practice for the King matchup. Uh, but played really good. Nice conditioning. Um, yeah, I mean, there was some, like, you know, specific anti King stuff you could have been doing, but. Uh, who's up next? Am I up next? Are you up next? I, I don't be. even know. I might be. Next on the docket, uh, Nine, are you ready? Lord Nine Tide, you ready to battle? Everyone, post some dogs in the chat if you support Nine Tide. Or if you <clears> prefer <throat> my co host, uh, post a Pikachu. Face me. All right. Nine, would you, are you, do you have caster roll? Do you want to co commentate while we're fighting? All right, the Nine Tide enthusiasts have logged on. Lennon, you can't waffle like that. You can't do both T sides. That doesn't count. We commentate at the same time? I mean, I gotta talk. I think you gotta jump in too, huh? Gotta oh my your... goodness. <clears throat> the Nine Tide fans are being drowned out by the Pikachus. Nine Tide fans, make some noise. You can't let these Pikachu <coughs> posters take you to the hoops like that. Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Pikachus are for me. I don't know. Yeah. Nine, how you Pikachus doing? are for you, and then dogs are for Nine hey, Tide. Up? Hello, are you ready for Tekum? Uh, oh yeah. Me Face start. me, demon. All right. Uh, so <laughs> Alex, are I guess I am. What are, what characters are we playing? Um, up to you. I was just gonna. But I was expecting just Lee Kazuya, but if you want to do secondaries, I'm down to do some fucking some Mishima shit. I could pick some <laughs> Heihachi. Oh god. You could also do uh, Mokujin challenge. Are you, are you he him? You're he him, right? I am, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh god. Do Mokujin, you do Mokujin challenge has been denied. Uh, sorry, what'd you say, Alex? Do you, you know the Mokujin challenge? Oh yeah, what are the rules on that, actually? The rules on that? It, you don't have to take this. This is a, a rule set that is probably benefits Mokujin players. Definitely benefits <laughs> Mokujin players. If you win with a character, you can't pick them again. Uh, and is it random select or is it um? Whoops, got sorry. That's uh, up to I you. I accidentally turned my Spotify on. It was hella loud. You do not have to random select. Oh, okay. Um, sure. Oh god. Okay. Yep. All right. Fuck let's it. do that. If you, if you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be. I'm playing my my real characters, but I'm yeah, picking. I'm picking actively. But if you if you win, you can't pick that character. You can't again. pick the same character. Yeah, yeah. If you lose, you there's no restriction. You can. Okay. 
All right, exactly. You want to start it off with uh, Lee Kaz and then <laughs> go from there. Sure. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm going to pick somebody else. Let's actually. send this. Oh, fuck. I already. Oh, uh, okay. Him. Well, uh, all right. Lee Kaz. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, oh, I love pressure. this family reunion. Oh god. Okay, Faye wants to play? Um, I think we already have five for today. We've actually got five and, uh, 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 uh. Jasmine? Yeah, Jasmine wants to play on PSN. Anyway, okay, we're in the match. It's zero to zero. Internet? Get ready for the next battle. Anger emoji. Grr. Bring it. Triumph emoji. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hold on, let me let me pick a good song. Let me hold on. The, do you know that they have um they have a mammoth emoji? A mammoth emoji? That's funny. Yeah, if you type mammoth, it makes the mammoth. This is appear. what we look like, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I thought Nine Tide was a cat boy. I am a cat boy. Where's the cat ears on on oh the God. Lee? Is there a glitch? I'm I'm in doing the uh, three rollback frames. Oops. Ooh. Damn. Body. I felt it appeared. In my bones. Yeah. Why would you do such a thing? Look at this. We're going to the <laughs> wall. Oh come on. No, my my tech trap. That's... This is... Whoa. extraordinarily laggy. Yeah, I'm actually noticing that too. Ooh, nice. Alright, health suits are in. Nice punish. We're playing on my Why fucking... I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm getting bodied, that's, that but also this is miserable. That's, that's probably my fault, I apologize. And by probably, I mean it's almost certainly my fault. <laughs> I... It's my fault. Plot twist. Pog, how could you do such a thing? Oh, that was That's what you get for never high. paying me for these things. <laughs> Body. Tekken is three. I'm so sorry. It's Tekken is right. three. Lee has now been banned. Eliminated. Jeebus. So that means that means from this point on, I just got fucking rolled. I kind of. I'm, to be totally honest, I'm not super inclined to... Well, we don't have to like, play it out if you don't want to. This, fine. this feels... No, it's, it's chill, it's chill. ...bad. And... Yeah. To, to... I'm definitely noticing more delay than what it says. Hold on. Oh, my game What if we anyway. swap Queen out. Fatal in? <laughs> that works. Me Queen Hold Fatal fan? Let me exit out of this shit real quick. Uh, did, so your game crashed? I'm a big Queen Fatal fan. Yeah, my game just crashed. Of course it did. Thank you, Tekken 7. Thank you, Tekken 7. <laughs> Only the highest level play is happening here. God. Professional yeah, hey, commentators. <laughs> my chat is calling me toxic for win quitting. Oh my god, you're streaming? I, I was, yeah. Or I am still. <laughs> like, I was gonna and, raid the, um... And all your, the... all your roommates are streaming, and... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess we are we are both streaming at the same time, and you're yes, also streaming are. to Discord simultaneously. Yeah, yes, I guess so it makes sense. Makes only, it makes perfect sense. Only the yeah, it's fine. Stuff. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the connection is rough. It's all good. I I can't claim that that would have gone much better, but it would have it would have definitely gone different. No, absolutely no, sure. underwater. Unironically. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. So while we uh, figure out the next GG one. GG singular. Yes, GG. Okay, who, who else are we fighting today? <laughs> Alright, so let's get a... Uh, okay, Lunch, are you here? Speaking of, so Capella says, Capella says she got the bloodlust. Oh, Faye also posted in um, in chat saying, I wasn't aware there was a violent systems, I'd love to hop in. Okay, the one and done win quit. Man, get... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Lunch. It's so toxic of me. It's it's all good. Yeah. No, much <laughs> respect. Um, Nine Titan is part of my villain army, everyone. All right, we got lunch. For my villain queen. I'm out of here. Peace out, gamers. Good luck. Yeah. Bye bye. Hope the rest of the stream's good. We got Capella. So this, I'm extraordinarily excited for. I am so excited for this match. 
The return. Everyone, post a Pokemon of your choice for lunch. This is the lunch luchador. Facing and off post a Capella. separate Pokemon for Capella. AKA Vintage Bougie, AKA the neighbor. I'm gonna set myself to auto skip. Check out my team, everyone. Wow, look at those Pokemons. Pug, I believe- This is my team. So you suggested this match. I think it's a really good one. I think it's a fantastic idea. I think we're gonna see a clash of styles here. It's true, I did suggest this match. Uh, these There's are... too many, no it's not. Yeah, the there's. Wait, how come how come Wish doesn't have the Gengar? How do you get Pokemon? Everyone, everyone post a Gengar. Is it like, does everybody just have them, or do you have to subscribe to somebody in particular, or? Oh man, lunch with the uh, with the mind games already. They're setting it up. It's a Twitch Prime emote? I see. Oh, I see. Hmm. It's global? Oh, that okay. Is this true? No, it's not. It's a Twitch Prime emote. Lunch. Okay, so you have to... Uh... Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. I don't have Amazon Prime, but... All right. Lunch has not returned in quite some time, but is coming yeah. back. The Lars is being played. We're seeing more Lee, so if you saw Lee before and wanted more of it, enjoy. All right, so after this, uh, we'll have to get confirmation. So, all right. Wow. Bougie this is technically Michi Mania, if you think about it. It really is. I'm getting hyped. Wow, okay. Yeah, she's got that punish. Nice. Gets the um, uh, 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 the skill check on the um, 443. Oh, misses it that time. Tactical. Finds a lightning screw. Oh, no pickup. Yeah. Lunch is getting warmed up. The shenanigans are coming. Okay. Finds the uh, 443. Yeah, safe mid pokes are in effect. Nice. Yeah, I guess a skill check. So Bougie has fantastic defense. Yes. As she gets this hit is the down forward two one. <gasps> one of the most offensive and aggro players that we've ever seen. Versus one of the most defensive players. Wow. Now we get the, the theme song here. The Orbital. She won't do it again. The theme song is live. <gasps> they did it again. Oh, oh. All the way to the wall. Yeah, if you think about it, Lars is just like a solid. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Lars is just like a solid poke care. Plays a very grounded, neutral game. I mean, at a high level, he does. Whacklash? I have not seen high level Lars, to be honest. <laughs> it's. I common. know there are people that play him, but I've not seen it. Alright, we're punching. Wow, sidestep two. We're stepping. Oh, okay, so we have a request for uh, Fae to play. Um, uh, uh, uh. I'll think about that in a second. Um. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Lunch is bringing it back. Powerful. It's the theme song buff. Nice, Sue. Nice, carry. Oh my goodness, what? Oh, does not slip the second hit. Wall pressure. The way Lunch plays Lars is that Lunch presses moves and is genuinely convinced that these moves are safe. That's the only explanation for it. 
Wow. Like, there's no risk or reward calculation. There's only reward. This move is gonna hit. Okay, Bougie takes game one. So, uh, lunch, if you were listening, um, Bougie has requested that she is wants to do Mokujin rules. Uh... Uh, exactly. So are you okay with that? That Bougie is going to take Mokujin rules? Which means that she will not be able to pick Lee again. Yeah, Lee has been banned. So please, uh, you, you have to confirm or deny that. You're okay with that? All right. So Bougie is on Mokujin rules. You have to keep in mind as well. That lunch does not just play <clears throat> Lars. There's also a Claudio. There's a Lucky Chloe. There yeah. could be more undisclosed characters that we're not familiar with. Yeah, lunch has been training under a waterfall for a minute uh, since late last year. So they may come back with uh, something we haven't seen. Lars wasn't looking bad, though. Needs a it almost a won. Nearly, yeah. One of the dangers of pressing moves that are minus a thousand is that sometimes they get blocked. I mean, if you press them at the wrong time. The Katarina is out. Yeah. I feel like Katarina This splash art is weird to me. I feel like the shades don't belong. Hmm. Does anyone else feel that way? For Lars or Kat or... Or Katarina. Like, hmm. in the splash art, it, it seems strange. Ooh. Okay, we got the deer. Um, the deer I've guy. said this every time this cosmetic has shown up, but it looks like Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. Okay, takes the punish on the... Nice uh, patience. Yeah. Walk in the hoppy kick. Oh my goodness. Finds the uh, launch on the... Uh, down back four. Not quite that punish, well... Oh my gosh! She went for the- oh, it was, um... She wanted the punt, but it's a, a back four. Takes the pressure? Wow, zoop zoop! Zoop zoop. He's gonna have a funny sound effect on that in the next game. I love funny sound effects. Katarina is... Well, was a very underrated character until people started winning with her. Yeah, wow, nice low berry! Never go low against the coach. Yeah, a cat is really strong. People don't appreciate that. Yeah. That was like shades of, um, that was like Foxy style. Like shoulder at the wall. Oh my gosh. No. No. Does she have a combo for this? Wow, nice step. Nice step. Yeah, Lars has a very uh, linear um, everything, but especially Slash Kick. Violence, 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 that's right, SRD. Yeah, shout out to SRD. Um, so we can think about if Faye wants to get in. Um, actually, does Faye want to fight Nine? That was an option that I asked, um, but I was ignored. I'm so sorry. Um, that's okay. I would. I could fight Faye, or Nine could fight Faye. I think that'd be interesting. We've never seen that match. Nice wall balance. All right. Oh, wow. How did she block that? She just knows. She was ready. Right. No. Katarina's banned. Goodbye, Katarina. <laughs> okay. Nine options. And that's the last time Katarina will ever be played in Tekken ever. At all. Until Tag 3. Until Tag 3. Man, shout out to Tag 3. Pog, are you excited for that game? What team are you going to run? I'm thinking for my team. I'm probably going to do Gon and 2B. Oh, heck yeah. 
excited for when 2B appears in Tekken 9 as a guest character. Yeah, they, they ported over from Soul Calibur. For those that aren't aware, 2B is sort of like um, an avant-garde robot from the Soul Calibur series of games. Wow. Of all the Victor Lakes, 2B is definitely the best one. You know, <coughs> I tried the mod where you replace Noctis with 2B, thinking that I would like it better to have 2B in the game than Noctis. It didn't help. Oh my gosh! Are you Wait. ready? Who's got Victor? Who's Chloe here? Okay. okay, we got uh, Capella and Lars, and the lucky Chloe is it. Okay, full crouch? Oh, she's not ready for that. Maybe she will be. Lucky. Lucky. Okay, nice punish. Oh, this is going to be nice block. What? She has just incredible defense. Yeah. She's using her eyeballs to look at the screen. There was a mix up there, but Lunch didn't go to layer one yet. She went straight to uh, layer two. Wow. All right. Very subdued played from Lunch on Lucky Chloe compared to usual. Cross Lunch is just getting warmed up. Yeah, they're warming up. Ooh. Finds a nice counter hit. Well, right on. Oh. Finish. I'm feeling a cute sweep. It wasn't a cute oh sweep. Oh my goodness. Oh, you're, that's gonna hurt so bad. You're, yeah, the wall saved you there. Almost dead. <laughs> oh, does the full thing. Round three. Okay, the lucky Chloe is starting to pick up steam. Yeah, beautiful. Whoop. Nice punish. I think Lars could have shouldered there. Okay. <laughs> Wow, good end here. No anti air, so we got the the Cali roll into faith. Finish! <laughs> oh my, the first cute sweep and she blocks it. Do it again. Do it again. Hey. Instant point blank, cute sweep. <gasps> and oh that'll do it! <laughs> Didn't even have to go with the mid, the low mix. Lunch is on the board, beautiful. And notably, Lunch is not uh, playing Mokujin rules, so Lunch can stick with Chloe. In fact, Lunch must stick with Chloe. Yeah. Uh, until, unless they lose. That's right. A lot of characters can punish Cali roll. It's just a matter of knowing the OS for your character. It's one of these things that you have to study. For example, Asuka's is down forward 1-4, four, and I don't know anyone else's. Yeah. Characters also, shoulder, you can just sidewalk. It's usually a shoulder, if you got a big shoulder. So your Fang or your Armor King. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, Chai Yu has a shoulder. She does. Any sure can back through three. Okay. Capella taking, uh, switching off of the uh, Lars. Lars did not work out there for her. Uh, so lunch now on the left. T. Round one. Fight. Look at this cute little. Fox girl outfit, that's adorable. Woo! Finds it back four. Wow! Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. Almost all, oh, all the way to the wall. Wow, crunch. The blue stuff. 
fight. <laughs> Floats out the Cali roll. Uh that was a that was a float pickup. Yeah, I like this matchup a lot for uh, Dragon Ball. But oh, four four three into the bait. Okay, gets a little punish there. A punish happened. Oh, finds the back one counter hit. Pog, are you still here? You doing okay? I I pressed the mute button. My mistake. Oh, I was about to say um, the back one enthusiast has logged on, and then I said you have to punish the hell out of the shoulder. You cannot let things get away with that. Yeah, yeah. Back one is, back one is punishable, move. everyone. It is minus 10. Once you learn to recognize it, you'll recognize it mostly by the audio cue. It is minus 10. That is wow. so hard to deal with. Oh, lucky? Yeah. It's... Cute sweep? I think that's the first cute sweep they've hit. Yeah. That is so dangerous against Fang. Oh my goodness. Roll. If they've got the OS unlock, then... Uh... Chloe just explodes. The wall is saving Capella here. Ooh. Oh no, too much pushback. But we get it. Yeah. Everyone, if you're fighting Lucky Chloe and you ever hear double, she's going to do it again. So if you hear this and she's doing like the sweeps, the sweeping breakdown slow, it's just lows after that. Nice combo. React accordingly. If you hear Lucky, good luck. Oh, it's gonna hurt so bad. Oh, uh, it's hit out of the air, so not quite. Yeah, shoulder. Very hey, nice with punish. Ooh, nice pickup. Uh, can she get the? Oh, she could break the wall here. Nice work. Nice. Okay, Fang is banned. Fang is banned. Helen on the right hand side. Hmm. <laughs> Sign on the Kazama Dojo, yeah. Good luck. <coughs> So lunch has uh, famously come back from deficits much bigger than this. It feels That's like true. The, the Chloe is working out great for them. The Chloe is working. The Chloe is doing bark. I feel like there's just a bit of matchup unfamiliarity with the Fang there. Um, that shoulder is minus a billion gamers. Ooh, okay. They switched to the Claudio. All right, Hazia. This is um, Hazia versus Claudio. This is canonical. It is canon. So, Claudio match. is a running two enthusiast. Um, however, the Claudio the is underdressed for the weather. Yeah, we'll see if the hypothermia hits him here. Uh, lunch has to win this fast. Oof, not quite that punishable. Woo! Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's the that's the correct punish there. Um, very rudely, Claudio's down back three is only minus 15. Perfect. He needs that. Round two. Fight. Yeah, Speaking of that, minus, uh, Cassius down forward two is minus. It is. That was a whiff punish. That's brutal. Oh my goodness, the 1 1 2 zoning has begun. Nice health sweep. Okay. Punishes the hop kick. Oseva! <gasps> no! I, I believe that's Italian. Round three. Fight. Yeah, the problem is Launch is inputting all his moves in Lucky Chloe, but he should be inputting them in Italian. Ah, yes. 
You're trading the down forward twos. What the? Heck of a low barrier there. Interesting read. Capella completely aware. Yeah, the four three. I think that's the first time Lynch threw that out. Okay. That's a nice duck on the running two, but ducking against Claudio in neutral scary. It's very scary. Yeah, because he might do uh, well that move or the forward one plus two or. Third hit? Oh my goodness. That's a Second dead. hit of Twin Piston. Dead Priest. Wow. Capella looking really strong today. Kazuya's banned. Bye, Kazuya. Alright, lunch on their last legs. Will they stick it out with Claudio? Will they return to Lars? Or will Lucky Chloe? make her return. I don't want a Monday morning quarterback or a armchair quarterback here. I would personally advocate for the for the Chloe. You advocate for the Chloe? Okay, but lunch you is heard my coach, it on not record. The other, not the other way. I am not lunch. Alex coach. officially says I love lucky Chloe. I do. I'm actually a Chloe enthusiast. I don't know if people knew that. I like Chloe a lot. Okay, Alex is likes number one Armor King, number two Fang, number three Lucky Chloe. That's true. Those are three characters that I like. Dislikes number one Reina Tekken Eight. I, I uh, guess I I don't love her. You know, it's not my favorite. Motor Oil. I don't love it. I, I mean, it's okay for make oh okay they've switched to the uh to the chloe all right we're locked in with the chloe yeah alex has avoided explaining his Just weirdly like ambivalent oil. take of motor oil i mean look right, your car wouldn't work right without it yeah you're you're getting wishy-washy you need to have a more principled stance on motor oil it's true it's either good or bad none of this flip-flopping around here wow plus frames what are they going to do with it? Oh, uh, that was punishable. Oh, finds the full crash mix. Nice. It was the mid. Bougie apparently not quite sure what to do about the 1-2-2 two, two situation. 1-2-2 on two, two the full crouch. I think that's plus, isn't it? Nice. Beautiful nice poking. Too. Great sequence. Lucky Chloe has such a good poking move. One thing that's really interesting about- Oh my goodness, you are not dead, but close to it. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. Now you gotta deal with One thing the, uh... that I think is interesting about the way Lunch plays Lucky Chloe is Lunch does not really use any of like the twist stuff. Yeah. Goodbye. Um, I feel like they could try... Okay, that's, that's, that's an important thing. Lunch needs to find a way. Good stuff. A little bit slow there. I think there was a punish there to be had. One guess. Really fun. Nice trade. Lunch finds it. Lucky Chloe says my leg. <laughs> Woo! Find some power crush. Negan is a tough matchup if you cannot see that low. Like, that's one of those things that you just have to be able to see. Oh my <gasps> goodness, that's that's nice so movement. Bad. Here comes the screw. Oh! Lunch went for a reset there. Set up the, uh... Yeah! Chloe working out great. I can't wait for DLC pack one so we can see Negan versus Lucky Chloe again. Very exciting. Chat, how do y'all feel about Motor Oil? Everyone, post Pikachus in the chat if you like Motor Oil. Lunch does not like Reyna. Lunch is on team. We're not big Reyna fans. Personally, I don't think you should drink motor oil. You should use it to cook your food. Wow, that's a, that's a bold position there. You can also use it in vinaigrettes. Wow. 
put a bit of balsamic. Yeah, you need to, you need to have fuel in your body. That's my marketing slogan for motor oil. Wow. Okay, so Bougie here, uh, sticking with the Negan. Bougie believes in Negan, and honestly, I do too. I think Negan is underrated. Oh, Negan's very strong. Negan's strong. He has a baseball bat. Ooh, finds a second hit. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's not safe. That's also not safe. Lots of safe mid pokes here. We're just doing safe mid pokes, okay. Oh, oh. Negan combos are so satisfying. They're pretty good. That's the footsies button too, 442. <laughs> Um, you this might be dead here. Not with that combo. Always a setup for the cute sweep. Whoa, nice block. That was that was a nuts delay. They were just staring at each other for half a second there. Ba boom. Lunch going for the mid there. I, I wonder if they're going to show the low later on. Finds the counter hit. The wall saved you. Oh, swings into the second hit. Very aggressive. Not quite ready for the low parry. Or the, uh, whip punish. Okay, finds the punish. Nice. Round three. Fight. Safe power crush? Hey. <gasps> That's so dangerous. Oh, they went for the low. I believe that's reactable. <laughs> oh no, a second hit. Back turn cancels. Hey, hey. Tee oh, oh my no. goodness. <laughs> Lunch has found the Tee rhythm. The re splat. Double. There it is again. See, oh, when no. she says double, she's repeating the move. So adjust accordingly. Her audio cues will save you. This is a rhythm-based character. <gasps> nice punish. Oh. The low would have hit if it was just a little bit closer. Incredible. Welcome to the Cali Roll Blender. I've conditioned you to fear. Beautiful step there. Good step. I feel like Lynch could be doing the, um, wow. You know, that's why I'm not, like, the Chloe player here. I had an idea for a mix and Lunch did the opposite and it worked. See, the problem is, you are someone that can be taught right from wrong. <laughs> that is your weakness. That's why you'll never be able to attain this level of Cali role. Of Chloe player. <gasps> I would have gone low a long time before that. And yet. I guess there's no reason to go low if um they're able to do the um uh -oh. the jab seals it. So lunch here has found it's it's close to tied up. It's three to four. Incredible. That's why lunch is the coach. <coughs> So once you're finding that they can basically do the Cali roll mid for free uh, and just take free pressure off that, which is just an incredible uh, asset to have. If you think about it, um, I think what is really being effective in these matches is just swinging for the hills every time. It's a good way to condition your opponent to fear, especially if they're not consistently dealing with it. And for Cali Roll, if you're not stepping it, um, I think it's sidestep right for Cali Roll. For but if you're not stepping it consistently and you don't know your OS, then you're just kind of holding this mix up there. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, switching 
Back to the Cla- wait. Switching to the Claudio uh, did, of did Bushi try Claudio from yet? Capella. No, but Lunch did. Okay. Lunch played Claudio versus Cassia. Oh, Lunch, thanks for asking. Yeah, I um I'm getting over a cold. I feel so much better than I felt a couple of days ago. Thanks for asking. Alright, this is the classic battle of red versus black. Oserva. This is the matchup that plays out in uh, Lunch's mind. Woo! Wow, what a bait. I feel like in Lunch's mind, it's tag three and both teams have Alars on them. <laughs> Heck yeah. Okay, finds the... Uh... Wow, what a step. I don't even know how that didn't hit. Yeah, Like seems... something happened. Uh, it was, I guess it was jumping for like a few frames. Chloe's very evasive. Oh my gosh! No. I think I think Bougie can see that. I think Bougie can see the back turn uh, sweep. Bougie is watching. Yeah, she uses her eyeballs. Not that punishable. Like, well, I, I claim I can see that move, but I think she actually can. Nice punish. I can't see a damn thing. Oh my god, what a timing mix up. That was actually beautiful. She just stared at her for a second and then... Nice. You cannot go low against the coach. Not allowed. Blops. On deck. That's gonna hurt. Oh, uh, the wall saves you. Okay. Smart mid check there. I think Bushi doing a better job of uh, dealing with the frame situation after 1-2-2. Two, two. Okay, nice poking off the running two. Uh, no! This is set point for Capella. Lucky Chloe, fight! Do it for G-Corp. <laughs> G-Corp's uh, cutest soldier. There it is! Isn't G Corp's cutest soldier uh, Cassia? It might be. Or is it Alex? Um, I don't know. Are dinosaurs cute? Chat. Are dinosaurs cute? Post a Pikachu if you think dinosaurs are cute. I think he's. So lunch about to uh, close out this round. <laughs> yeah, the running three. Round four. Get him. Ooh, not quite that punishable. That is a uh, 14. Uh, he could shoulder that, I think. A lot of back turn pressure here. Was that I don't even know what Caesar means, but I'm glad someone posted it. Thank you, Comrade Solar. Wow. I award you 43 hockey pucks. Heck of a whiff punish there. Oh, catches a sidestep. That was a humming move. Okay. It's so, not over yet. It's really not. This is set point for Capella, but lunch. All they gotta do is find, like, one more good hit. Yeah. Just to... Let's see what they believe in. Plus frames? New tactics? <gasps> oh no! no! <laughs> that was so close! What a set! Brutal. Uh. Man. Oserva. Oserva. So, bougie. Great work. Lunch, great work. Thank you so much both for playing. Uh, that was a heck of a set. Love to see it. I I was very excited for that clash of styles, particularly the uh, like super aggression versus... Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you play Tekken, Lunch, it is a joy. Okay, Lunch, next you up. should come back to Tekken. You should bring the skills you learned from Suika game. Absolutely. Sugi! Okay, so who is Sugi? Ski, uh, ski! Uh, I believe we've got... Uh, Wish is going to face off against Bellet. Um, Wish, are you playing on Mel's account?
And Bella, what account are you on? You switched. Okay. Fantastic. Reset score. That was a heck of a set. I, I'm so glad we got to share that, everybody. Uh, so let's invite uh, Bellet and let's invite Wish. All right, Bellet and Wish is a go. Is this our last match? Are we going to do um, um, you versus Fatal? Unless Faye wants to play. Faye, do you still want to play? Are you there? Okay, so we're gonna get a uh, wish on the left. I wonder, what character will Bellet play? I've been seeing some Kazia training. Oh, I've yeah. been seeing some Josie. Eight Faye, minutes. Faye well, is installing. Uh, <laughs> Faye is installing Tekken Seven. Welcome to Tekken Seven. I hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty good game. Yeah, it's the newest Tekken game. It is. It is. The sequel to Tekken Six. That is also true. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. Who do you think it's going to be, Chat? You have like a few seconds to say before it shows up on the screen. This is like very mysterious. Armor King. It's Ling. Ling versus King. Wish Everyone, when is King. Armor Ling? They should put Armor Ling in the game, where she it's needs... um, Shao Yu, but with a wave dash and dark upper. I think she needs it. I think she needs it too. So this is a matchup I like a lot for Armor King, actually. Look at Bellet. Just like representing Ling Nation. Yeah, solid pressure here once we get to the wall. Bellet is an AOP enthusiast, it seems. Yeah, looking powerful. Fight. Ooh, sidestep four. AOP slips right under it, though. That's a mid, but just barely. Only on a technicality. Nice. Finds the counter hit on the flip over. What is that? Uh, Three tilt four or four tilt three? It's the flippy flip. Yeah. Flippy Everyone flip. will know what you mean if you say the flippy flip. She has a couple. Ooh, unsafe. Firecracker. Oh my goodness. Oh. Bellet. We're doing it. Round three. Fight. A four four is the orbital, right? I love orbitals. She's got a pretty good one. Not quite at the wall here, oh. but there we are now. Get hyped for Armor King wall pressure. Is it, oh my god, I would have got thrown too. That was insane. Why did she do that? Because it would have worked. Yeah. Internet, get hyped for Armor King. Get hyped for Armor King. The Armor King enthusiast has logged on. And that's all of us. I think it's only Danny that's not an Armor King enthusiast. And that's just weird. Armor King is in the next DLC pack, along with Eddie Gordo and uh, Duke Nukem's sunglasses. That's huge if true. Nice combo. Beautiful combo there. Wow! Is that some hypnotist that I saw? There? Yeah, she did hypnotist dance. I'm doing some hypnotist? This is one of the greatest stances, right? How are you going to deal with that? Listen, Shao Yu is known for her stance pressure, and hypnotist is a stance. It, it is one of those. Bellet finds the first game. Very strong. Nice work representing Ling Nation. Yeah, very strong play from Bellet. Um, if Wish had just a smidge more health, she would have been able to kill there. But that trade was just not in her favor. Four till the three. It is one of the stances of all time. I believe it's based on a real life martial art. Uh. Bagua. Eat diagram fist. The interesting thing about the hypnotist usage there, though, is it was, it was much more subdued than the actual hypnotist that I see. Hmm. A lot of the people that you see online who do hypnotist, frankly, do it for way too goddamn long. <laughs> do like five steps. And like, 
They're like, I'm getting the guard break every <laughs> single time. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Don't you dare hit me. Wow. Bougie calling out all of us for not playing Julia. Brosif played Julia for like a hot minute, but then switched back to Lucky Chloe and then stopped playing Tekken 7. I saw him running uh, Armor King for a while. Or, uh, Devil Jin. Yeah, he switched to Devil Jin because he's looking for characters that'd be in Tekken 8. That seems ill advised. Although, maybe Devil you know, Jin Julia. will be good. Maybe Devil Jin will be good in 8. Fight. Yeah, maybe he'll do damage without the wall. I, I, I think he got way too nerfed. A lot of people will say that. I think I think Devil Jin is fine. Ugh. I, th I think I'm just I bad think, at, I'm just bad at Devil Jin. I think Devil Jin's tools are all really good. Nice mistrust. That was beautiful. Great spacing. Devil's playing so strong. I think Ling suits her really well. Yeah, wow. Ling is Ling is like the Bellet character along with Josie. There is also some shades of Panda thrown in there. Oh. Up, up, up. Wow! AOP pressure. Feels oh, like nice resplat. Incredible. I think he needed a down three four there though. Weird angle. Perfect. Nice wow. poking. This RDS pressure is very good. Yeah, Bellet's playing great today. Not that she doesn't always. But... Nice low parry. I haven't seen the lane for a minute from her. Looking quite strong. This is like when Rock Lee took off the training weights. Bellet's like, by the way, I, I'm not a panda player. <laughs> Able to do like relatively solid and like Look at this! Watch this, I'm gonna press a low poke and it's not minus 50. <sighs> okay, wish finds Nice the, grab uh, though. Yeah, that, that's the um, that's the just frame of the back four, as you'll know. Ooh. We're all okay. Ambitious mistrust, not punished. Yeah, it could have been. Uh, wish could have hop kicked that. Okay, we'd like to see oh my goodness. That. Like the safe mid poke. <laughs> Man, 421 at least. There's the 421. The orbital. Orbital. Ah, uh, the angle was just <gasps> slightly. Oh my goodness. You, you won't do it again. <laughs> but what she does did. not know right from wrong? One of the trickiest things about Xiao Yu is how her combo routes will move people slightly off axis, which makes judging the wall distance really hard. Should I use a tricky character like that? That'll do it. Armor King. Wish looking so strong. Honestly, I love Armor King versus Shaoyu because Armor King is like such a fundamentals and like strong character. And Shaoyu is like the mixed up uh, tricky character. Absolutely. It's really cool. Very fun dynamic. Like He's like flipping around and stuff, and an armor king just like breaks her into pieces with like command throw. The shoulder works out really well in this matchup. There's a lot of like, true, true. Kind of situations where Ling is difficult to punish, but uh, against Xiao Yu, knowing like what your I hit AOP with move is critical. crucial. Absolutely critical. Oh, Bella calling out uh, martial arts other than Bagua. Battle, battle. Yeah. Any martial artists in the chat? Anybody know things about martial arts? I don't know. Somewhere in the world, Smoking Crow has woken up and doesn't know why. This is a joke that's funny if you know who Crow is. Wow. You know, this is a I, deep I, cut. <laughs> Woo! Okay, round start hypnotist might not have been the not best necessarily move. Necessarily the play. 
But it shows gumption, Ooh. and that's what gets you a job. Bump, bump, over the edge. Uh, I tried the wall break. Maybe she didn't want the wall break. Shall you use down three is such a good move. Oh, gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, right under the Ford 2. The firecracker. Uh, yellow belt. That's, uh, warrior rank, right? Man. Down three, four, gaming. Wow! AOP, uh, Q fist. Oh, oh. It's sometimes good to just let the full string rip, just to check your opponent. Oh, that's brutal. Crunch, what's the OK situation? Oh, wish went for the nice whiff punish. Ah. That is 100% what you're looking for as Armor King. That Orbit's Hell has been crushed. Ooh. Nice combo. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. There's, Miss yeah, that's a pretty good punish. She could have hop kicked it, but 4 2 1 is pretty good. Wow, the interrupt on the third hit of the string. Zoom in away. <gasps> okay, Painful. and uh, we hit the wall, we kill. break the wall. Ah, uh, it doesn't a, get a, the, a kill route the grab. Existed, but. Yeah! Hey. That was some ling. That was some ling. Down back three for the frames into a low, back turn out of the low into Ray Shrine. Yep. You got What do a it. great sequence. Very classic. Ooh, third hit! Uh tried to interrupt it. Didn't nice. Quite work out. I love the Armor King for Wish. That's a neat character for her. I don't think I've ever it, seen this. It fits. Yeah, it's her style. Absolutely. Which is really good at finding forward for neutral twos. I don't know what that's actually called. Oh, the um, the low punch, yeah. Nice whiff punish. Yeah. <gasps> oh, you're dead. She doesn't screw this up. Goodbye. She, no. Armor King. The green mist. Brutal. What are you going to do about that? This giant jaguar man is spitting bile. There's nothing that can be done. It You just lose. If he hits you with that, you just lose. You're like, ah, my eyes. It's like my eyes. And then you're not breaking that throw. You're getting grabbed. Honestly, I hate those moves. <laughs> People spitting bile into my face. Be gone. Inconsiderate. That's an illegal move. That's what makes it so hype, actually. You have to distract the ref before you can do it. What the hell? I know. Do you know if the kings have access to steel chair items that they can use? Uh, I mean, you can certainly equip a steel chair. Yeah, but they, they do things. Yeah, it's an attack. Like, can you hit people? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, my, uh, the king outfit I always use, I have a steel chair equipped. Round one. Who was it? I think it was, like, Fight. Gambino, but in the tournament, Destroy. they landed an item move setup. Did Did you see that? Like, round start, sidestep, dark up, or that's some mission. I saw business. it. Yeah, Wish, Wish has those. Wish has those. I mean, she's a double gym player. She's a mocha player, but her devil gin is quite good. I've respected her devil gin for quite some time. Nice block. Unfortunate, though, the recovery. Ooh, that happens to Dragonov all the time. Guaranteed. Beautiful combo. Welcome back, London. It's time for Xiaoyu. Yeah, time to uh, cheer for Ling Nation. That, you get a tear for oh my goodness! That nice was whiff punish. She's just putting those. Oh. Uh. Oh man, I've been playing Yoshi recently. Like the idea of seeing somebody spring kick. I'm <laughs> like, just gonna yeah. watch it. <gasps> like how dare you? How dare you, you spring kick? You don't understand what I'm capable of. Insta flash. 
but that's neither here nor there. My okay. is not good. Wish is answering back. You know who's I like how Bellet is switching to more of a keep out play style. More down back one. Oh, Punch is hitting me. Oh, oh get him. Yeah, finds the just frame. Wavu into the, the four for neutral too. Sure. Yeah, we, we've got those two. We have a lot of things. This is a first to five. That's correct, Ultron the Destroyer. Hello, Ultron. Welcome to Violent Systems. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Fight. Oh my goodness. You just have to send it sometime. Oh, almost found the pickup. Oh, uh, that. Yeah. To be fair, that was like pretty hard to pick that up. Oh my goodness, that is really hard to with punish because of how low she is. <laughs> That's joyvling. Wow, finds the just frame. Beautiful. The joy of Ling sounds like um a YouTube tutorial series. Wow, you knew it was coming. But then it came. Oh my goodness. She just did it. That was a reset. She just did it. We're stepping. Stepping is happening. Zooming out of the way. The rain dance. Oh, uh, what did she get for 14? If you do, um, if you sidestep into the the foreground and then do AOP, it's really evasive too. Absolutely. Oh, the orbital. Okay, counter hit. Uh, this I is forgot huge the for word rich. for right. <laughs> nice punish. I'm sorry, everyone. Beats the spring kick. Beautiful word from Wish. You win. Yeah, have to be careful with these spring kicks. Yeah. Critical. Otherwise, it will be you who is sprung. Chat, is that cool when I said that? Chat, can we get a can we get a temperature check on whether that was cool? I think that was Do you think cool. that was cool? I think that was super cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. You just say everything that I say is cool. I'm a big fan. You're spitting on the microphone. Hmm. Oh, London agrees. It was cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess it's cool. Man. Whatever. And you know who heard it? One of Seattle's greatest double gin players, Ultron the Destroyer, was in the That's chat. True. When you oh he's so strong. Shout outs to Ultron. Shout outs to Seattle Tekken. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is Ultron in the Kender Gym community? Because we should get more Devil Gin players. He... I'm always thinking to myself, we need more gins, devil or otherwise. Yeah. Um, you know, he's welcome to join it. Uh, I suppose he is not. To there my you knowledge. go. There you go. So Ultron, you're I've been, invited. I've been thinking about playing June lately. I think you should. You know, I, I haven't been playing her because yeah, she's that not would out be. Yet. Yeah, she's not out yet. That'd be illegal. Um, so. Firecracker. Okay, we've unlocked the running three. Yeah, running three into Firecracker. It's a good move. Running three. You have to be careful when you use it against, especially against players like Wick, that yes. are really good at stepping. Strong lateral movement. That was a whiff punish. Boom. Why would you do an orbital? I'm just gonna... Oh my goodness. The zero damage low. Oh, this is so dangerous. I was imagining I was like, Wish is gonna giant swing her into the wall with rage. Okay. That was a certified crush moment. If we could get sponsored by Orange Crush, we could say, like, this is a uh, certified crush moment. Nice! Okay. Finds the pickup with the, uh, while standing forward. I'm sure he Maybe gets a Wavo into forward far <gasps> neutral, too, is really good. <laughs> Man, they gotta situation. put Armor King in Tekken 8. They really do! He would look so cool. 
Every time I watch Armor King, I'm like, why don't I play this character? I there's a lot of cool characters, but he is one of the best. Okay, trying to spin away. Gets clunked by a giant giant Boom. woman. Goes for the low finally. God, I love that move. It's it's so bad. Oh, the big sweep from back turn. The giant backflip. Oh. Oh my goodness. Nice Cali roll set up. Wow. Impressive. Mm. That is a really good setup, actually. Like creating a spacing trap by using the wall pushback. Yeah. Every now and then, Shao Yu players will do some shit that makes you feel smarter just by watching it. Shout out to Ling Nation. Ling Nation. Ling Nation. Shout out to Bruce and Bruce enthusiasts. Bruce enthusiasts, if you will. Chat type, bring back Bruce into the chat if you would like to see Bruce brought back. I'm typing it right now. Let's get that trending on your favorite social network. Okay, so everyone's saying bring back Bruce. They are saying that. Which is actually, if you think about it, a tongue twister. Many people are saying this. Try saying this five times. We you will switch. have difficulty. All right. Wish the Al now. Alex not even taking the challenge. He knows he will fail. Wait, why are they on the other side? Bring back Bruce. I did it. Fuck. You actually you said it incorrectly there. Dang. I said it incorrectly when I said it though, so you're off the hook. That's incredible. However, I, <laughs> I do float. famously have a stutter. Okay, we got the we got the float. We got the tiger. Okay, this is a character we've seen more from Wish. We're expecting this to be perhaps a bit. Uh, she'll know how to deal with a lot of Ice one one two. One one two is a great way to deal with a lot of these slower stance transitions. Round two. Fight. Fantastic. Wow. Running two hits super low too, so that's great for. Um, Oh, it's a very, very Scoopy move. She's like a bulldozer. Scoopy. Great pushback, advancing. What more do you want? I mean, it could be plus, but you really don't need it with the pushback. Exactly. Wow! Oh, oh my goodness. What a mix. That is actually a safe mid launcher. She needs it. <gasps> that was a spring kick trap. I... Yeah, that, I've seen that set up a few times. I love it. I was yeah. telling London to do it, and she never did. But here you got it from Bellet. I'm reading a rage Yeah, Bellet did it first, so Bellet <gasps> She didn't need it. to rage drive! Throw is gonna kill at the wall. Round three. Listen, you gotta test them. Oh, a little bit slow. That was really smart. It's a, um, that was the right thing no. to do to float Firecracker, but... This is very hard to escape for good punish. Good punish times two. These are good players. Staff your kick. Okay, unseeable. I mean, I don't see you do it, so it doesn't happen. If I don't see it, it doesn't exist. There's the rage drive. Gosh, the rage, rage drive. drive. It's so good. It really is. Okay, Goodbye. the pickup. Is he gonna kill? Uh, not with that combo. Oh. Ooh, a little bit unsure. That's gonna oh kill. Oh my god. <laughs> Ling Nation. Stature kick. Okay. Stature kick is online. Ling has a surprisingly good one too. Side nice. Step. One one sidestep. Yeah, that's Kazumi Gaming. <sighs> Big Tiger Uppercut with Punish. She's back turned, but... Yeah, this matchup is a little bit tricky for Bellet. Bellet is a known punch uh, punch parry enthusiast, but you can punch the running too. 
Brother, you can't parry the running two. You can punch it if you want. You can't. All right. Wish it four games now. Uh, Got to stick with the Cosme for now. Uh, let's see who Bellet picks. I, I assume she'll stick with Ling. Ling's been working out great for her. Oh. Oh. Is it on? It's not natural on, on normal hit. No. Any string enthusiasts? Strings are a joy, you know? What's your favorite 10 string and why? My favorite 10 string? Um. That's a great question. I think Dragonov's. That's one, probably my favorite 10 string. Dragonov's is really high because of the cancels. It's also like. There's a specific point of failure and, and the low. And you just, no one's telling you to do that low. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't do the low. Laws you can just go all the way up to the low and just take like the, the 50 damage. Yeah, laws. Laws is quite useful, yeah. You Round one. Fight. Ooh. Finds a 442. That might have been running to attempt, but. Oh! Okay. Uh, got lucky there uh, that um, she didn't launch the uh, Hell Sweep. Alright, that is. That <gasps> is like Mishima Punish. Yeah, you know. Watch for the Rage Drive? Okay, doesn't get a chance. Nice block. Going for the low block there makes a lot of sense, actually, just because it's a way to deal with the rage drive as well. Nice. Step into down forward one, two. Kazamid. Oh my gosh! What's your favorite 10 string? <laughs> 10 string enthusiast standoff. Get brutal. I can't believe she did that. It's that point, which. Listen, I've done 10 strings on people many times. <gasps> Dragonov's is good against back turned opponents. For Dragonov's, you can do like the first several hits, right? Without it being a terrible idea. Yeah, you can do the first several hits like normally, and if they don't. If they're not ducking to begin with, you're good. Wow, which takes it. The Kazumi pick worked out great for her. I think that was a good switch. Uh, nice work, Wish. Bellet, you played so strong. Uh, Ling looking excellent. All right. So we. If you think about it, Hazumi and Armor King are very similar. Yeah, yeah, kind of like Mishima flavored, you know, fundamental. Mishima flavored, like cat themed characters. They are cat themed. They really are. Man, shout outs to Miss Unsmiley. Uh, given wish a mushroom and scallop pasta. Fantastic. Oh, I love pasta. Pasta. All right, internet. Uh, do we have one more in us, or should we call it? Listen, I have as much as there's required. All right. Uh, is Faye ready? Faye is here. Okay. I need to refill my drink. Uh, who wants to fight Faye? Faye, do you want to fight me? Who do you, you get to pick. Who are you going to fight? Call out somebody, Faye. Look at these people fighting for attention. Faye, Just you gotta, like you gotta duking it your, out in the chat. Pick your opponent. Capella has been picked. I see how it is. Okay. Y'all work out amongst yourselves what your rule set is. I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I'll have to work out. Give me give me ten seconds, I gotta get a drink. I am out of drink. Uh so I'm gonna give you the, the be right back screen. 
Uh, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm officially taking over the stream. I honestly had no plans for what I'd do once I got here. I've sort of been leading up to this, and now that I'm here... What's Alex's drink of choice? I can't answer these questions. Everything's falling apart. Someone help. I'm back. Uh, what is my drink of choice? Uh, water right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm giving up control of the stream. I'm scared. I am not ready for the responsibility I, of I, having a stream. <clears throat> I appreciate the, uh, you, you were, you, you held it down bravely. Thank you so much. Uh, strongly considering switching to P1 side. Okay. Uh, who are we inviting? So we're gonna get uh, Capella back in there. Wow. Okay, here's Faye. And here is Capella. Training partners, I believe. Uh, possibly. I don't know. I may have been making stuff up. I wish I had a training partner. I used to have a training partner. But now I don't. Everyone... Well, let's say shout out to 1HP with, and maybe he comes back. Man. Gotta clap our hands if we believe in 1HP with. I hope he comes back. Huh. 1HP whiff, Ducky. London, if you want to learn Devil Jin, then I will I will gladly fight you. We'll fight your Devil Jin. Heck yeah. Shout out to Devil Jin and Devil Jin players. Man, if y'all want to learn Devil Jin. Ultron. That's true. London is a panda player. I'm also a jack player, so... Hmm. Heck yeah. Story mode demo, Devil Jin. <clears throat> the way I'm labbing June is I'm uh, watching matches on YouTube, and then I'm thinking about Tag 2, and in my head they sort of blur together, and I'm able to play June Kazama. In your mind palace. Exactly. Man. You know, a matchup I would be interested to see would be... Well. I don't even know who I was playing London. Like, I was playing someone, I'm like, man, this sucks, I'm, I'm picking Jack. <clears throat> I think I was playing June, I don't know. In my mind palace, that is. Ultron, how are you feeling about David, or about, um... I'm mixing you up with your character. How are you feeling about Devil Jin in T8? Have you played him yet? Oh, you know who it was, London? I was like, let's try Shahi. <laughs> and then I just got cooked. I could not play Shaheen. All right. Okay, the Azizena and Josie player is versus the the Julia player. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here goes. Well, I'll figure on the left. Fight. This looks like some sort of a fake character. Yeah, she's picked Azizena. Hmm. What is happening here? Some sort of like advanced level mind games. She's standing there menacingly. Um, it looks like. Ah, Bougie from says, what uh, I can tell. Uh, controller cable. 
It looks like Fatal is adjusting to the Tekken 7 backdash. Hmm. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, story mode is uh, not representative. All right. Yeah, in the story mode, he does damage without walls. Hmm. Maybe we'll just uh, let this round uh, be a draw and then let it rock after that. Alright, let's see if these players can master their controllers in this battle of wills. At a very high level in Tekken, you'll notice how both players aren't, they're not even moving. They're getting a feel for each other's timings. And here it is. Alright, let's let it rock. <laughs> and after 40 seconds of staring each other down, the first move oh. is landed. Oh, okay, okay. So it looks like uh, Faye wants this one to not count. They're... They seem a little unsure of, of what they want. Round three. Fight. You know, important thing to know about your character is how to kill somebody as fast as possible if they're holding forward. Yeah, yeah, you start by doing key charge. Then you press down four to hit them with the low. It's a good strategy. Okay, so actual set start. Oh, Bougie wants Mocha Jin rules. Uh, yeah, if it's okay with Faye. I assume it's okay with Faye. Faye, are you also doing Mocha Jin rules? It's up to you. Mokujin rules have been confirmed. All right, for uh, we're back at it. Canonically, the first match was in Vermilion Gates. Uh, Josie was having a dream of being in like some sort of winter nightmare, um, but then, oh, gosh. then they woke up and met here. Yeah, that's right. Only the winner has to switch. The classic costume there for Julia. Watch out for Julia's bow and arrow. That's something you gotta know. Wow. She's ready for uh, switch dance. Nice launch. Yeah. That is minus one billion. Watch out for Julia's G clef cannon. That's something that you have to know in this matchup. Nice fake out. Punt. Wow, finds the mid. All right. Round two. Fight. Wow. Look at that, just crouch in her face. Look yeah, watch out for her party crasher. It's slow on the punish there. Nice duck. Yeah. Worked out great. Perhaps a little bit of mesh up unfamiliarity here. Uh, on Bougie's part. Not quite dealing with the, uh... 
Juicy block punishment. Wow, the orbital! The block punishment may not be there, but the defense is. It's super there, yeah. No, her blocks are great. And we're ducking under switch. You could have gotten a better punish there, but it doesn't matter. Take the frames and do a combo. Lead you at the wall and... Just hold back. Yeah. Timer scan that. There it is. Okay, oh, nice yeah, Bella, poking. That's right. Yeah. So she probably knows Josie frames, but maybe not what to do about it for Julia. Crunch. One of the things that I think makes Julia a particularly difficult character to switch to is just like a lot of the spacing things that you have to keep in mind with like Wardrum and such. Yeah, Julia's pretty unusual. Mid there. Wow, nice. Hey, nice poke. Round four. Fight. Chad, I have an important uh, update. A very cute kitten has just jumped into my lap. Nice. Yeah. Is the cat going to be a commentator? Maybe. She's pretty quiet. I don't know if you can hear her purring. What's so weird about Julia Astaki? Um. Ooh. Julia has a lot of complicated strings as far as spacing is concerned. Most notably of which, her war drum Ooh. is a really good move if you space it exactly perfectly. This is a one guess situation. Oh no! Nice party crasher. Impressive. Nice that's, block. That's dead. Well. No. That should have been dead. Wow. Okay, Josie's banned. Goodbye, Josie. Alright, Faye takes game one. So essentially, if... When Wardrum is used, um, Julia hits with a high and a low at the same time and then a mid. If only the low hits, because the low is slightly in front of the high, then it's a natural combo. So if you space it perfectly, it's essentially they have to react to the low. But if you're slightly too far forward, both will hit and then they can block the mid. So part of how Julia sets this up is she has a number of setups that she does to gain that spacing. Uh, these sort of setups are designed to create the spacing so that Wardrums does get that clean hit where only the low hits. And because of that, the opponent is going to want to duck low. That's wow. sort of like Julia at a higher level. Internet. However, switching to Julia, you, need, you may not necessarily know all these things. So it's a tricky character to swap to. On the other hand, though, she does have things like Party Crasher. Uh, bow and arrow is a really good, kind of cheesy string, but it's a good string. We'll see how Bougie does with the Julia. Internet, are you ready for Kazuya Mishima? Uh, this, if you think about it, is true Tekken. Unlike all that other fake Tekken we've been seeing. That's right. Wow. If you if you think of Julia as like the descendant of Michelle, this is that real Tekken. I mean she really is. This is a matchup that essentially can happen in Tekken 1. Exactly. More or less. Oh, it doesn't commit! Not ready for the twin pistons. That was just one piston. Much less effective. You gotta do them both. Finds the low parry? Oh, oh. Nice combo. Nice little one too. Yeah. Round three. Fight. Ooh. All right. 
Faye's got those. She's got the electrics. Oh, the classic. Okay. Nice, too. Yeah, that's guaranteed. Wow, finds a 1 1 1. Sometimes you just have to let the whole thing wrap. Nobody's gonna hold back that long, right? You're gonna lose patience. Finds the magic for a beautiful combo. Bunch of party crashers. Alas, but. Heck of a hop kick, that was good. Oh. Capella just has fantastic uh, throw breaks. It's very, very hard to throw her. Swift so step. Ooh. Hey. Any hit will kill. For anybody. Nice work. Capella on the board. So it's uh, tied up now, I believe. All right, the stream is over, everyone. Thank you for coming to Violent Systems. Have a lovely evening. See all the area. Exactly. Okay, so Julia's band. Those of you that have stayed here, congratulations! You've passed the test. That was a Welcome test. Welcome to Secret Violent System. Incredible. I wonder Curious. what we're going to see next. Yeah, we really don't know. Man, that kitty cat ran away. Oh no, she didn't. She's sitting behind me now. What the cat doing? Um, sitting on a computer. And meow. Get ready for the next battle, 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 battle. Right on. Yeah, I've been to do that. Okay, uh, sticking with Kazuya, and so let's- Kazuya versus Gavel. Faye on the right now. You heard the meower, yeah. She's about a year and a half old. Okay, now that you're in secret violent systems, everyone, you're allowed to say crap. Can we say that on Twitch? Are we gonna get demonetized? Well, the mods all left. Wow. What are they gonna do? Ban us? They're not here. Ooh. You know, there's kids and tiny kittens present. I don't think we can cuss. Lennon, you can say crap. Wow, finds a counter hit back four. I don't normally allow this, but wow. just for once. Did you see that? Bougie slipped the uh, down forward one for her. Oh, she's thinking about, oh my God. I hey. have never seen anyone just like casually duck in front of a Miguel for that long. Faye, that's not allowed. You, you let Miguel do the while standing two string and you didn't kill him for it. You have to explode him for doing that. All right. One thing you have to know about Miguel is that Miguel does have an unblockable instant kill. Arguably the best character in the game for that reason. Watch out for Miguel's savage dance, yeah. We're just doing a, a little casual 1-1 one, one poking. 1-1, one, 1-1. One, one, one. Look, Tekken 8 isn't out yet. This is the competitive irrelevant game. 
We could all still be the world champions until tomorrow. This is really interesting to watch because if you're paying attention, this is a <gasps> okay. Casio thank you, Faye. <laughs> Faye did it. Thank you. All right. Yeah, you can't let him do that. Faye woke this up. This is a Casio that is not using Hell Sweep, and honestly, that's wild. This is like pious Kazuya. He will not use a health sweep. Uh, he won't say crap. Nice whip punish. Look at that. I respect it. 4 4 4 in the instant duck. You gotta love it. Twin Piston's not that punishable. That's her kick. Honestly, I love just doing like standard one jab and then seeing what the situation is. Yeah, that's Tekken. Great play. Oh, uh, Tekken wanted... 7 is 3 ballot. How punishable is Twin Distance? Uh, yeah, it's 12 or 13. Finds a down jab. Yeah, super minimalist Kazuya play here. Nice punish. No down four twos in this part. Oh, oh, this is like a. <gasps> um. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh my goodness! That the was timer. ridiculous. That was clutch. Nice work, Faye. All right. The minimalist Cassia has been banned. <coughs> Chat, Man. if you think you need to play, uh, if you need to play health sweeps and electrics to win with Cassia, there you go. Not required. Not required. Keep it simple. Faye, I do appreciate that. Thank you for slipping the while standing one, uh, while standing two string. Look, the main that man's was... sweet will charge in here any mm -hmm. second, but we can keep him at bay by picking any female character. Wow. That's main man sweet slander. That is. That's, uh... Listen, I've been to his stream. I've seen the stuff he says. Dang. Unfortunately, like we have that. failed the assignment as Jack is on screen. Uh, Jack is a robot and theoretically could be a gender, but is canonically seen as male. Round one. Anyway, I know a lot about Jack. Down back one gaming? It's pretty good. Even better, full crouch down back one. Look at that whiff punish. Are just doing forward twos. They're safe. Just oh, put it out the there. The full crouch mix is out. Hey, running two gets with punished. There's some very unusual movement here going on here. Wow, slips I the, feel uh... like I feel like Jack's backdash takes a little bit of time to get used to, and Fatal's just kind of overstepping the mark. Third hit. Oh, she doesn't have the combo for that. Uh, it's a uh, while standing three one. Or three something. two. Three two. Three two. Plus frames. Oh, good awareness. Nice. Uh, none of that. Don't throw it away. Don't throw. It. Okay. Oh. Round two. Fight. Keeping it simple here. Launch that. Good. Does she have the combo? The idea's there. 
Forward two, forward, forward, four is pretty hard to do. Oh, it's so sick, though. I love landing it. It does, like, 60 damage. It's uh, only on counter hit, right? Yeah, on counter hit. Otherwise, it's just, like, a normal thing. But if you confirm the counter hit and you have good execution, you can get the forward, forward, four. It's, like, 65 damage. Like, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. Okay, we found down back one. Oh, oh you could have launched that. Yeah, there you go. Do not let him do that string. Okay, forward two gets punished with the hop kick. I'd love to see him more forward forward one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. More uh, jackhammer. Jackhammer gaming. Whoop. Nice pickup. There we go. That was just the the standard myth. Oh, I love the flashback there. Hey. Face showing a lot of awareness of the uh, Miguel string. These rounds. Uh, you're dead. Debug gets jumped <laughs> over. Ah, <laughs> uh, going for the rage drive version, <gasps> and it's just not enough. I cannot wait to play Jack. Anytime I'm not playing Jack, I'm like, when am when I when can I play the Jack? You can I also Jack want right Miguel now. to come back. I can't. I have to commentate this. No, you just like, you know, don't look at the screen and just you know play Jack and just say what you think is happening in your mind palace. Okay. So See, Capella's what I would have done there. Personally, if I were the Jack, oh. is I would have done more down one plus two. I mean, how are you going to beat a move called Seed Planter? Oh, oh, down one plus two, not down four. Yeah, you're thinking down the, the, four. The, the big, uh, the, the Atlas Hammer, the huge one. The huge Atlas Hammer, that's right. Wow. So we can see almost literally any matchup now. Uh, so the Miguel is banned. Miguel is banned. Goodbye, Miguel. No, obviously I would have done more forward ones, more forward forward ones. Yeah, Atlas Hammer is the king move, Solar. Uh, and Jack has a very similar move. It's basically the same, right? It's essentially the same. <coughs> Jack does like a grip of damage. It does so much. But they both um, push back really far and they're minus one billion. Jax isn't quite as bad just because of the pushback. Okay, Gigas is out. Mm. Gigas versus Noctis. This is actually, I think, really good for Gigas in a funny way. That's fantastic. Yeah, Jackhammer didn't get used really there. Downback 1 was used, though. Oh, yeah. Downback 1 is great move. Fight. We saw some debuggers near the end, to no avail. Yeah, they didn't work out. Hmm. Ooh, didn't launch the 1-2. Uh, Okay. Who was it that was requesting Gigas? It's me. I love Gigas. Yeah. I think this character is sick. I agree. I, I'm a big Gigas, Gigas enthusiast. How is Gigas in favor with this matchup? He has huge range. Um, so... One of the things about Gigas is like 1-2 is a great 10 frame punish. Uh, Gigas also has like a pretty good power crush as well. So if your defense is absolutely solid on Gigas and your punishment is correct, you can do some work here. Nice block.
Although Gigas is kind of like a specialist character. I just watch all the Gigas matches because I think the character's so cool. I'm gonna be sad when he's gone. He'll come back. I hope. Nah, he's gone, gone. They gave like all his shit. <laughs> oh, finds the down too? Oh no, drops out of the combo. Uh... The other thing about Gigas, though, is if you can land his, uh, his overkill, like, they actually just die. <laughs> Morally. They feel like I should never have been thrown by that. They, they should have given him a good grapple game. I don't know why they didn't. If they give him a two break. Oh, look at that! Beautiful whip punish. Oh no, it doesn't have a combo for that. That was a reset. Okay, nice. two, 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 two. Obliterated. Round four. Fight. <laughs> oh my god, she just stood there and waited. Put the down two. Once you've conditioned your opponent to fear, then you can start doing like fully charged forward fours. It's pretty sick. Second hit, yeah! Oh my goodness. Heck We're yeah. letting it rip. Oh. Oh no! Okay. Could have been worse. She could have been actually punished for that. No! Launch him! Ugh. Nice punish. Nice punish. Yeah, that was beautiful. The two gigas enthusiasts in the world are <laughs> on commentary together. Crunch. Oh no. No, no, I'm not that punishable. Oh, okay, finds the, uh... Okay, gets a... Oh, very interesting combo there. I've never seen that combo route. But it worked. It works, oh, she it doesn't works. slip the, uh... If she was ducking the last hit of the down forward one string, that would have been... There it is. Any 2 2 enthusiasts in the chat? Make some noise for 2 2. Spacing. Okay, oh, she's thinking about it. Oh, there's the 4 4 2! Nice. The footsies button, just hold back, just hold back. What's she gonna do? Nothing. Okay, Emo Man is online. Oh, no! <laughs> Freaking heck. Uh, Noctis is banned. That's okay. The Gigas was coming together. Don't give up on the Gigas. Personally, I want to see Bougie play her very strongest characters. Her very strongest or the very strongest? Because her... technically, Feng is still alive. Feng is still alive. Uh, I think she's got a Feng. I mean, she has a, every character. She has a thing. She pulled out a thing to defeat her opponent, Lunch Luchador. Yes, that's true. That is true. Uh, I mean, she could pull out. She's got a Heihachi that's very powerful. Uh, her Nina's good. All right. Sticking with the Gigas. Fan favorite. Uh, Faye on the left now. Round one. That's a nice uh, Kazumi costume. Ooh, beautiful whiff punish. Bump, bump. All right, Gigas Gaming. Yeah, Gigas Gaming is happening. I feel like Gigas wins this matchup because Gigas has very strong 10 frame punish. Mm. And uh, his power crush is really cool. And his command grab does a lot of damage. Oh, he could have. Yeah. Um. 
Nice. Nice whiff punish. One two would have been a good option there. Crunch. Legitimately, Gigas as a character is like one two and some other stuff. Four four two. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Bougie fighting the, uh, okay, yeah. Takes the frames. You won't do it again. That's such a fun low to hit people with. It, it's so satisfying. Oh no! Yeah. Ah. Uh, I think down back two would have been the play there in that scramble. Crunch. Nice whiff punish. Nice whiff punish. Gigas has uh, <sighs> the forward two string too for whiff punishing. Yeah, it's quite good. Um, the running two there is is pretty strong from Gigas as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, footsies are happening. She's got the footsies button, the uh, 442. It's amazing. We got down back two, we got forward forward two, we have one two, we have forward two, forward one. What more do you want? He's a very punchy gentleman. <gasps> that was ambitious there. Round four. Fight. You have to believe. You have to believe. There's the punish. <laughs> wow, that was an instance of believing. That wasn't guaranteed at all. To be honest, um, when I said this was a good matchup for Gigas, it's really not. Kazumi has a lot of advancing <laughs> moves, so. Gigas, who really likes to do whiff punishment, is not going to find a lot of whiffs against her. I'm not super clear on who Gigas has great matchups against, but... He has good matchups against anything if you're willing to come up with reasons why. <laughs> yes! He's got good matchups against people who don't understand how to fight Gigas. All you have to do is like name any string and be like, well, Gigas's power crush destroys that string, <laughs> and you're correct. Unless it's Kazumi's down back uh, two, three, four. That's true. <gasps> okay, gotta hop kick that. Uh... Find some magic fork. Oh, nice oh. low parry. Oh, oh. Ooh, yeah, good punish. This is anybody's game nice right here. Nice, so. Wow! Retrive? She hasn't done retrive once. <gasps> Beautiful whiff punish! Nice! <laughs> wow. Top tier Gigas, once again, clutching out a win in tournament setting. Look how muscular he is. He's so big. It's 3-3. Three to three. You know, Capella always was a tier enthusiast. Just switching to Gigas. What are you gonna tiss, do? Tiss. How are you gonna fight that thing? He's a monster. Your attacks will just bounce off his glorious armor. You're, you'll hurt your hand more than you'll hurt him. I He's canonically bulletproof. You see him walk through a hail of bullets in the story mode. I remember this. Well, isn't Hey Hachi? Yeah, I mean, Mishima's are bulletproof too. But... Oh, he catches bullets. He doesn't. He doesn't tank them. I mean, that's the same thing, right? Like, if if you just like see it and just catch it out of there, you know. I can prove to you that's not the same thing. Wow. I can prove it. Okay. So. If someone is hitting you, and you power crush through it, that's what Gigas does. I see. However, 
Sweet. If you do a punch Sabaki, that's what Heihachi does. Whoa. Round He's so we got scooping the attack. Two character switches here. Bougie switching to Bob. Uh... Another character that won't be in Tekken 8, but should be. Random hop kick. I love it. Not random. Calculated. She thought about that for weeks. Well, Bob is honestly like a pretty difficult character to fight. I, I'm a big Bob fan. Uh, interesting. I think Bob is great. I, yeah, no, he is. Um, nice punish. But. How dare you down 2-2 two, two in the air, right in front of me. Yeah, not allowed. So this is one of, um, one of his stronger characters. The uh, Claudio? Yeah, I've, I've definitely seen her play Claudio in, like, pretty serious circumstances before. I'll say that. This Bob is looking real, though. Yeah. Nice house sweep. This is like an any person get Bob band speed run. No punish on the hop kick! He has a safe hop kick, but that wasn't it. Bob a man of many hop kicks. Yeah, that's the speed portion. You'd love to see it. And that forward forward too, that, that's one of the best demon paws in the game. That's the weight portion. His hell sweep is also really good as well. I- Bob is just good. Yeah, only one problem. No electric. He doesn't need it, he's got a Crush Dash 1. Oh, no break! Rare Capella getting thrown moment. Oh my god. It's a worrisome situation. One thing about Bob, his um... Ooh! That's gonna kill! Oh my god. All right, Capella takes the lead there. Four to three. Bob is banned. All right, Capella, take this home. We're hungry. I mean, go both players. You're hungry. I'm not hungry. I had two tomatoes. You had two tomatoes. I had a veritable feast. That's fantastic. Were they good? They're tomatoes. Were They're they... out of season. That's fantastic. You know, I have got some oranges on my tree that I'm gonna pick pretty soon. I, I picked up a... Uh... Okay, Jasmine really wants to fight. Okay, I'm gonna have to grab a snack. Chat. Type PSN in the chat if you wanna say, if you wanna see me fight Jasmine. No, no, no! Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We want to see that. Okay. All right. Anna versus Cat. Yeah. That's a lot of. A lot of tech in today. Round one. Fight. Katarina. Katarina Alvis. So this is uh, absolutely one of uh, one of Faye's strongest characters. I think this is one of Faye's big two. Yeah, for sure. That and the Elisa. However, Anna Williams is very good at 
I wouldn't say stealing, but oh, she's stealing gonna... rounds. Snowball, for sure. She's uh, just, like, incredibly volatile. Um, I have beaten players much better than me in a tournament setting with Anna. When, when Kazi is not coin flippy enough. Pick Anna. The way I like to see it is, like, some characters, they cook on, like, a medium-low heat. You know, they don't want to burn their pants. Other oh. characters are going all the way to high heat. Anna is just like chucking things in a fire. Yeah, Anna's a pizza oven. Ooh. Nice defense. Ooh, the mix! Goes for the string cancel into the immediate uh, full crush mix. It's really interesting how Katarina is was marketed as like this simple character, you know, press four 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 four, just have a good time. She's really easy, but she's actually quite a complex character when you study her at a high level. Oh, for sure, yeah. She, she was uh, <laughs> underrated for so much of the game's lifespan. Like she was considered quite weak uh, for a long time. Beautiful whiff punish. Bump, bump. Dash blocking in her face. Thinking about setting up the full crouch mix. Not doing it. Two of the most just really defensive players. Finds the 333. Wow! Oh, she wow. passed there! I think that headbutt's plus, isn't it? Any okay. quarter circle forward one enthusiasts here? It's so good. The Irish Doria. It's an elbow, too. Yeah. Was it like plus six? It's really it's, plus. It's very plus. And they gave Nina a version of it too, uh, which is new to this game. Punish that! You know, we're not seeing a lot of, um, like, full crash launchers. Wow. Alright. Yeah. I think playing like that when the timer is so low is inadvisable. Yeah. We're seeing a lot I of think... round-end like timer scenarios here. I think if you're like losing the health lead and you're playing Anna Williams and you're you got six seconds on the clock, you just duck in their face and tell them to guess. It's maybe it's a while standing too. <laughs> maybe it's the full crouch sweep. Like, listen, I don't have enough time to play a proper comeback, but I do have enough time to gamble my life. Flip these coins. One of the difficulties of Anna is just how violent you have to be with her. Anna's so much fun. I, I sincerely hope she's back in eight. I'm, I'm sure she will be, but... Well, didn't they give Carter Circle Ford one to Nina? That's not... That's not optimistic. Uh, no, you she, never know. She has it in seven. It's basically the same move for Nina. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said they added in in Tekken 8. Uh, I... it may have come across that way. Sorry if I said it wrong. Alright! This is close, I'll forgive to, you. close to their real mains. But just this one. I appreciate it. Ooh! Makes her put away the chainsaws. Wow! Finds a backswing nice. though! Nice! Oh, oh. It all comes down to this. It's four to four. Uh, Faye on the left. Chainsaws are out. Nice evasion. Yeah, Faye wants to win. But she's gonna have a hard time of it. Because this is Cabela's real main. Beautiful combo. Stomp, yeah. Oh, you're dead. Watch out, this is Heihachi damage. <laughs> You do not have enough of a health lead 
if I'm still alive. Yeah. Let's bless, watch out! Well, go as far as... Who do you think wins in a, like, 1 HP comeback fight? Oh. Heihachi or Paul? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, probably Paul. But it's close. I mean, like, Heihachi can't really 50-50 you, is the thing. It's all tied up. Okay, finds a power crush. Finding the gaps in this kind of, like, entire oh my God, stage why did pressure she do that? is so hard. Why did she do that? That was sick. It's because she knew. Does it work? Yeah. Oh no, that's only minus 12. Why is that only minus 12? She needs it. Elisa is silly. Wow. Oh, oh my god, the conditioning, she does the low. Beautiful combo, and there's the wall. Uh, it hits the wall, but just too low. Okay. Okay. This is Any really tense. Tell? You're dead. Wow, what a step. Capella on set point. Is she a god? Really, when you think about it, it's Listen. pretty badass. Like, fighting an android, Look at this combo. Bum. Going through that wall. I think you have it wrong, Alex. Like, fighting an android in the rain in a thunderstorm at the top of a helipad. That's sick. See, again, you have it twisted. Really? Yeah. I think it's badass. On top of a rooftop, there's a helicopter. It's late at night and it's rain. And you're fighting Heihachi Mishima. That's also true. Is it about to be final final round? It is. Final round. Fight. It's your son's backyard. He did not invite you. It is the double list of Luigi's. Nice float. Uh. Get on this wall. The hey, car's on fire. Uh. And there's no driver at the wheel. Oh my it's god. It's okay. Um, Elisa is waterproof. That was a um, pickup with the shoe shine. Good break. Don't ever try. To oh my god, that's so risky. That's nice. So risky. One one two. We're just keeping <gasps> it tight here. That was a punish on, on the four mind. four two. Wall situation. What are you gonna do? This is one guess. This is just about as close as it could. Oh, that's it. Ah. Uh -huh. Faye takes it. Wow. Yeah, trying to, like, gap close on someone doing that is... That it's was... like defusing a bomb with an, a machine <laughs> gun. Ford Ford 2 betrays Heihachi. Yeah, that's not safe. That's not safe. All right. Ridiculous. Incredible. Okay. Um. Super GG's. Chat, give me a second. I'll be right back. I believe we gotta, I gotta set up the PS4. It will take me like just a minute. And uh, I'm gonna fight um, Jasmine. Jasmine, how is your connection? Did it change at all since the last time we fought? Or is it the same? How's your internet feeling today? We ran a bit late, so I'm gonna dip out for now. That's completely um, But reasonable. I will yeah. come in to the VOD to see who won. Chat, can we get a round of applause for Pog Boyfriend, your favorite violent systems commentator, and mine? Jasmine, are you still there? You can't just say that. You have to say you're your own favorite. Am I my own favorite? I am. No. Well, I don't know. Yes, yeah, so you're your own favorite, right? And then number two is Minter Galactic. I'm very clearly third place here. I'm like the the bronze <laughs> medalist. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Tell you what, I am going to uh, be right back. Um, thank you so much uh, for coming through, Hog. Bye uh, bye. Okay. Bye. 
Uh, all right. Jasmine, give me just a minute. Uh, let me set up. Actually, I'll be right back. Internet, we're back. Uh, let me set up the uh, PlayStation 4. Give me a moment. Thanks for sticking with us. How are you doing? Uh, I got to exit out of... <coughs> Hope everybody's doing all right. How are you doing? There shall be more punching. We're almost there. One more set of punching. Perhaps some kicking as well. Switch to the PlayStation 4. See if this is happening. Can you see my PlayStation 4? Can you hear my voice? Revealing my true name. Is that a bit loud? How's the audio? My name is Alex R. What the heck? What in tarnation? <clears throat> I've doxed myself. All right. It's just a stage name. Uh, okay, so what's too what's too loud? Is it the desktop or the the game audio or my voice? Help me with the mix here. <clears throat> Man, 
PS4 load times. Game audio is too loud? All right. Uh, how about now? It's uh You can find out who my friends are. Uh Ricey, right? That's you? Are you on? Shout out to Raj. All right, I'm finally playing. All right, see how this feels, huh? Any characters y'all want to see? I want to play Armor King. <laughs> <coughs> Shout out to me not having the uh, Armor King. all the DLC characters on PlayStation. Alright, keep score with me. Zero to zero, let's go. Doesn't feel great. <laughs> Bad movement on my part. Watch out! Uh oh. Don't do it! Why would you do such a thing? Get ready for 
Shout out to the song on this stage. Good times. Do, do, do. Oh. Round one. Fight. Oh. <laughs> Round start back through three. Heck yeah. Thinking about it. What is that? Hmm. Welcome to the wall. Uh oh. Thanks. Round two. Fight. Why didn't that? I'm not happy about that. Third hit. Oh, thanks. It's one of the defaults in, um... It's just, a, like, a PlayStation default. Do you want a different stage? Do, 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 do. Uh, we can re-random the stage if you want. King of Armor King. The geometric plane. Everybody loves the geometric plane. Man, shout out to math. It happens in places like this. Any math enthusiasts in the chat? Who likes math? Round one. Fight. That was the move I was gonna do.
Shout out to whip punches. Math is cringe? Who would say such a thing? Wow! Yeah, man, I, I know my, uh, my math homies like uh, Ultron are gonna enjoy math. Keep up. Ah, <laughs> nice. Got that while standing one three. What? Okay. Why could you? Why would you do such a thing? Jasmine takes a game. Nice. Anybody like uh, Project Euler? Shout out to. Project Euler problems. Programmer friends may know about these. Draw this hyping up of a math stage and lose on it. Man. Mileage out of that. Yes. KO. Round two. Fight. I 
очень опасный. Uh, I don't, don't agree with that, Rage Art. Oh, I got countered. Feel free to change stage if you want. <coughs> Thank you for keeping score valid. the song on this stage. Yeah, I've been doing like one a day of those. Just for funsies. Project Euler. Oh my god, everybody's leaving because I'm singing. Sorry. <laughs> the real ones. You you will stay even though I'm singing the theme song. Thank you for uh Thank you for your support. To the king of Iron Fist, Armor king. This has been a long stream, so thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. We played like we attempted six different matchups. And uh, this is, no, wait, this is match. Get ready for the next battle, battle. We attempted seven matchups. This is match six. This is the longest violent systems I think that we've had. Precipice of fate. So here Jasmine is locked into Eddie for the rest of the set. I could, I can switch if I need to. I think the colors on my capture card don't look good. I think this is like... Round one. Fight. <laughs> wow, where did that hit? Six. 
cover. Uh, I don't think that's gonna hit. KO. Round two. Fight. It's free. I got counter hit. I shouldn't have got counter hit. Nice. <coughs> Still gonna hit the wall? Nope, not quite. Wow! Thought it would be airborne by then. Thank you all. Round four. Fight. Oh, nice. Caught me trying to throw. Oh, oh. GG's. Um, that was a long violent systems. Uh, but yeah. Super GG's. Thank you for playing. Uh, and I hope to do that again in Tekken 8. Uh, hopefully we don't have to, uh, <laughs> you know, maintain multiple platforms for the uh, game where we've got um, crossplay. All right. Thank you so much, all. I'm closing the stream. Uh, Violence happened, that was a lot of games. And uh, thanks for playing, everybody who came through. So have a great evening, take care. Was this the last Violent Systems? I, I don't know, I mean, I think we're having it next week, right? All right, take care everybody, bye.